Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Welcome back. Actually, I was ready before the, uh, before this, but I wanted to wait until the ad was over. <laughs> um... But hello! Hello, everyone! Orion is today's first. And Sarah is today's second. I hope you guys are doing well. Well, I mean, it, ha it hasn't been too long since I've seen Sarah. Sarah, he was actually uh, doing his no hit practice. Well, I mean, it wasn't exactly. It's not exactly practice when you're doing the whole thing, but. I guess. But he beat his PB. He beat his personal best today. So now he has a four. He's almost there, guys. He's almost got it. So go check him out. Go go check out Seraphian if you haven't already. A good friend and a good mod. Hey cozy Rien! How you doing? I was lurking in your stream as well. Um can we get a shout out for, for Rhiannon as well? Because, uh, she has just started playing, uh, uh, Dragon Age Origins? Uh, no, wait. Inquisition! Inquisition! Um, <laughs> Inquisition is the one. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm a little bit slow sometimes. But, welcome in, welcome in. Go, go check out her as well if you haven't. Um, once you get it, you're never playing Dark Souls 3 ever again. I mean, um, I, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. But yeah, the, 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 the picture at the beginning, that is Toriel from, from Undertale. You are correct. I added them. This as well. Uh, this is Undyne from Undertale as well. Uh, because Toby Fox, who created Undertale, he sends out quarterly newsletters um and sometimes with the those he well actually every time he adds like gifts of characters from undertale or or um delta rune so they they usually very uh season themed because it's like once every one newsletter for every um every season so got one a few days ago that's why i've added them <laughs> that's why i've added them you probably continue to play it quite frequent new challenges maybe mm. Mm -mm. hey mecca how you doing welcome in welcome in um wait do you guys know each other or was it just because I nah, nah, I I'm just curious. <laughs> thank you for the lurk and thank you for the shouty outy. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Also, is the music too loud? I I, I bumped it up very loud for me, but uh, it should be different for you guys. Um, you're damn good. <gasps> Wait, did something happen? Did something happen? Wait, Sarabot, there's not gonna be an ad break now. We have, we just had one. Stop lying. But I mean, I did see that Seribot, like the, the creator behind Seribot, uh, said that there has been some issues with it lately, so. Don't trust it completely. You like the set behind me? Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's the weekend. I mean, that is, that is more than good enough, honestly. <laughs> it's just sometimes, you know, something extraordinary might have happened, you know? You're just a friendly, inclusive bean. Well, I mean, <laughs> but it's just because you said friend. So I was like, wait, so I was wondering, but like, I know that a lot of people say that anyway, but I just wasn't sure if you meant that you actually were friends or not. <laughs> so like, I, I just wanted to, wanted to hear, but that is totally fine. Totally fine. Jiner, how you doing? How you doing, Jiner? <laughs> I like your emo emotes. Emo emote. Emote. Um welcome in Jiner. Um Jiner also streams by the way. We we raided Jiner last stream after last stream. 
Um, where he was playing Phasmophobia. Um, <laughs> friends in the making? Mm. Well, I mean, you never know. You never know. But you're good, gonna be playing Elden Ring as well. <gasps> oh, is it your first time playing? Is it your first time playing? I was about to add Elden Ring, by the way. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing the DLC, by the way. For those of you who don't want to get spoiled, it's not the DLC. Uh, it's the base game. Uh, now I was like, wait, did I actually type it out? And then you did. <laughs> the first Elden Ring fan on Twitch. The first Elden Ring fan on Twitch. Mm. Um, <laughs> could be friends. Uh, a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet, you know? You know? Isn't that what they say? That emote is glorious, yeah. Jiner did a, a an emote cosplay on stream, uh, I think. W wasn't that... Was it because of that you did it? <laughs> um, you're still on your first playthrough? Mm, nice, nice. So, where are you in the game? Um, do, do you... Uh, have you gotten far? Because we... We've only gone to... Well, we, we stopped at Kaelid last time. Haven't gotten farther than Leonia. So, not too... Too far. I mean, we have finished everything necessary in Leonia, though. So, and also... By the way, Orion, I, I did see your message. And uh, if you need to lurk, that is totally fine. I, I understand, I understand. Um, halfway through the DLC currently. Nice, nice. You're struggling. Understandable. I mean, I mean, I don't know because I I haven't seen anything, but I've just heard a bunch of people say that they are struggling with it. So, <laughs> I am planning on going to the DLC after the base game. I haven't decided yet though if I'm gonna finish the base game first or if I'm just gonna do what I need to to get to the DLC and then do it and then just finish the whole game after the DLC? I haven't decided that yet. Oh, we'll we'll, we'll see when we get to it because we're quite far away uh, still, so. If you get where you're left off though, mm. that is totally okay. Well, are you going to stream it or are you just playing off stream? Either that or someone who's going to tie you up and put you in their white van. That is... Honestly, that is also valid. True, true. D don't... Be, be careful out there, guys. Um... <laughs> yeah, don't trust Sarebot. There wasn't an ad break. I mean, I hope you guys didn't get an ad break. Um... But you shouldn't have. Which you could tell you, but you'd totally forget. That's totally okay. Totally okay. I just don't want you to get spoiled if you hang out here. I mean, it is pretty early on in the game, but even so. I do not like spoilers, so I also try to respect that other people might not want spoilers either. Um, you have the Baldur's Gate 3 music you're listening to? Me too, me too. The, the reason why I listen to that on stream is because, well, first of all, because it's amazing. But also because it doesn't get copyright striked on... Well, I mean, not... Not strike, but it doesn't get copyrighted on YouTube. Um... So... Yeah. That's that's usually why I listen to it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty safe to listen to. Um... When you see the... Don't don't tell me anything about the game, um, please, because I I yeah. But that is that is okay. Yeah, don't don't nothing nothing of the 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 DLC. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Um, also let me just pin the message because usually I do. I usually do pin the message. Anything of the base game though, that is totally fine. You can talk about that as much as you want because I have finished it before. Because we're playing on on New Game Plus. It's just the DLC that I, I would uh, like to keep spoiler free. Um, you're on mobile, uh, your PC got internet. Wait. Wait, you don't have internet on your PC right now? How come? Are you just using data? 
How you made it two months without having spoilers? That's crazy. Uh, I'm very good at avoiding spoilers because... <laughs> It, it, I think it's only like one boss name that I've gotten spoiled and that is it. That is it. I don't even know what the boss looks like, I just know the name. I'm not gonna say what the name is though in case anyone else don't want to get spoiled. Um, you made it exactly a week before the final boss was ruined for you. Is it because of YouTube? Because I feel like most people get uh, spoiled by their algorithm on YouTube. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube stuff. So I don't get any recommendations for me on 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 the front page. So I think that's what has saved me, <laughs> pretty much. Instagram. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have it on my algorithm anywhere. Um, so I think I think that's pretty much how I've been able to avoid it. Um. Dadman spoiled you day one. I mean, you chose to hang out in the stream all day and get spoiled, but still, let's blame Dadman. <laughs> I see, I see. You saw a reel. Mm. Yeah, I have... Um, anytime I... S like, because I follow people who stream the game that have has played the, the DLC, but I just, I, just scroll, scroll, I just scroll past as soon as I see anything. Um, so I don't really see anything. It's like, I have a gift for just blurring my vision anytime I open uh, any apps. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just very wary of, of spoilers, but... You know, it keeps disconnecting at times. You don't know if it's the provider, but you do have an Ethernet cable recently been happening some sometimes. Hmm. Wait, so did you not use the Ethernet cable beforehand then? Because I highly recommend doing that if you if you have the um, if you can use it. I like you can literally see my Ethernet cable, the white one here. <laughs> that that's that's mine. Um, it goes all the way to my bedroom because somehow like my ex decided that that was the room that he wanted the the Wi-Fi to be in, or the the um, the fiber, and I have had to live with that. It wasn't a bedroom at the time, but it is now. Um, <laughs> and it's in the complete opposite end of the apartment. So that one is, I think this cable is like 20 meters long or something. And it's, it's very tight here. <laughs> um, just completely dissociate for five minutes whenever a spoiler comes up. Mm. Yep, that's pretty much how I try to do it. Yeah, go check out Krause's, aka Chris, aka Dadman, um, because he's also a good, good, good people. Actually, he's he's a crow. Uh, he's good. He's good. Cor Corvid. Wait, is Corvid? Corvid is crow. It's not Raven, right? I keep because I I say that as a joke. I use Corvid as a joke for COVID when I talk to him or Lauren, but. Now that I think about it, I actually don't know if it's uh, Raven or Crow <laughs> that is Corvid. <laughs> I think it's Crow. The dad man in question. Mm. Don't have Wi-Fi option for this th that PC. Oh, so you don't have the... Um... I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's better to have a cable, though. It's it's more stable. It at least it should be. <laughs> to use a court. <laughs> when your mo uh, modem is far away from anything that uses the internet, try installing it in your neighbor's house. <laughs> well, it's because the 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 bedroom that I have now was the room that when we moved in here, um, that was the room that we used for like our PCs and stuff. But it's like the biggest room. It's so big, um, and I wouldn't actually use it as a bedroom if it wasn't for the fact that the other room that I have has, well, the windows are very, um, well, yeah, it gets really cold because of the windows. So during the winter time, it's not good to be there. Um, 
So I just switched rooms. Um, so it's not ideal to have the, um, the fiber where I sleep because I don't really use the internet in my bedroom. But it is what it is. It is what it is. The machine that connects the internet does have a Wi-Fi option, but this piece just doesn't have the thing that... Yeah, the... Um, the... Why do I blank on, on the word? Because I know what the word is. I know what you mean, though. <laughs> I know what you mean. It has been going out recently sometimes. Mm. It's back now, luckily. It doesn't... I see, I see. Well, I hope it stays that way, though. I hope it stays... Good. I hope it stays good. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are not aware, what we're doing here is... Uh, I... I play Elden Ring on New Game Plus. I'm using the same character that I used on my first playthrough. Because I've only finished the base game once alone um, in single player i've only beaten it i've beaten it twice but the the second time was with um the seamless co-op mod with uh the dad man in question and rods and pickley but that was a it's not the same so it doesn't it doesn't count well i mean it does it does count but it's very different um either way uh, so i am doing new game plus on my first character and the reason for that was because i wanted to do something fun which is we do a weapon wheel spin whenever like for each fifth sub or 1500 bits um and so far we have had nine wheel spins and so it's it's just an extra thing it's just an extra thing it's not like I call it a weapon wheel spin run, but it's just because it's it's an option. And then if I do like the weapon that I'm using uh, during the wheel spin, I, I tend to stick with it for a little while afterwards as well. Um, but yeah, so I use the weapon for like 20 minutes. That like it's it's because in case it's really awful, but I tried to stick with it for a little while longer. You want to do your first DLC run, New Game Plus 2. Mm, you're doing seamless co-op with your mate, though. Oh, uh, the DLC as well, because I heard that they added uh, added that to the seamless co-op as well. I also really want to try that. When I've beaten the DLC as well, I want to I wanna do the, the seamless co-op as well. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, though. It's a lot of fun. How are you liking uh, seamless co-op? I really, I really like it. <gasps> Shika! <laughs> Aww. Thank you so much! Shika, thank you for the sub! Happy three months. Yeah, you got gifted a sub by, by Toonie last time, but thank you so much! I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, go check out Sheikah as well. I think it was not... Was it last stream? No. The stream before. The stream before last stream, I think, was when we raided Sheikah as well. Um, but yeah, go check out her out if you haven't. You love it? Wish they had one for all the Souls games, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard that the... The... the the uh, multiplayer for the other games is not as smooth. He, Sarah here, uh, he is doing uh, co-op with Krauses and Rods on Wednesdays in Dark Souls 2. Um, and you guys, you have to do each boss like three times, don't you? Because... You have to go into each other's worlds, and then it seems a little bit finicky to, to do it that way. A little bit complicated. Um, Toonie the MVP. 
It's true. It is true. <laughs> when you were miserable playing Inscription, redeemed yourself last game and beat two bosses. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm glad that you 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 stuck with it though. Is it is it a game that you Is it difficult or is it just is it just not fun? Only play Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3, and Sekiro. Mm. I have only played Elden Ring, Sekiro. Well, Elden Ring and Sekiro. <laughs> I've also only played Elden Ring and Sekiro. Uh, been meaning to pick up Dark Souls 1 and 2. Mm. Yeah, I know at least one person who would definitely recommend Dark Souls 1. <laughs> um, I love Sekiro, though. It's one of my favorites. It is one of my favorites. I played it last year over it's been over a year now but i really i really want to play it again it's it's i just love it i might actually like it even more than elden ring which is but it's hard to say though because it's they're so different and i like them for different reasons It's funny because even though they are both from soft games and they're souls likes and they're considered well I'm, they're considered similar in a way but they're also very different but the reasons why they're different is also why I, I love them both It's okay I appreciate you so much but of course of course um Sega is hard though well, it is, but I really enjoy it, though. I really enjoy uh, the type of parrying you do there over uh, Elden Ring, for example. I don't know. It, I've also played Liza P, and that was just so much fun after playing Sekiro, um, because it was similar in a way. And I just, I just feel like it's superior to be able to to parry over just rolling away. I don't know. I, I like, I like not having to roll away, but you can, you can parry. Uh, inscription is amazing. One of your favorite games so far? Oh, okay, okay. You keep getting stuck on, but Chad carried you to victory. Mm. Well, it's good that people can help you though. That is one of the good things about streaming games as well, because um, if you do get stuck and you do need some help, it's so easy to just get it right away, <laughs> usually. Um, you're terrible at pairing, that's probably why you weren't a huge fan. I mean, yeah, you do- wait, did you, did you finish it though? Because it takes a little while to get used to, but once, once you do get used to it, it's just so satisfying. Um, swing midair and then get you. <laughs> <Shit what? laughs> but it's I, I I just I I love pairing. It's it's so much fun. Have you played the last P? You haven't finished it. You will pick it up again one day though. Mm. I mean, I hope you do. It feels so nice when you get you, when you do it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but the last boss is the most difficult boss that I've ever beaten, and but it's also the most satisfying that I've ever beaten. So, highly recommend doing it. Um, but they're all here. For, yeah, they're all here for her. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Your last OP is good. It is really good. Highly recommend it. But you also do need to like uh, parrying, though. It has a similar parrying system as Sekiro. You played Lords of the Fallen recently. It's not bad, but it wasn't great either. Mm. The new one or the old one? I mean, I've heard mixed things about the, the new one. And n n no good things about the old one. The new one? Mm. Yeah, I haven't played it. I haven't played it, but I've seen some other people play it, though. Hmm. But yeah, should we get into the game? We can get into the game. Too st <laughs> uh, 
It's like every time I stream, she gets really, really cuddly. And it's like she she's not walking around like back and forth like she's doing now. She's not doing that when I'm not streaming. She just kind of sits down and, and watches me or something when I'm not streaming. <laughs> you okay? She knows when the camera is on. It's true, she does. She does. <laughs> hey. She she knows that she's not getting the attention that is like meant for her. And now I have cat hair in my nose again. Cats are so lucky they're cute. No, <laughs> Uh, yeah, let, let us get into the game. Let me just get it ready here. Um, apparently if you get a cat, it's uh, own little keyboard. It will sit on that instead because they jump on keyboards as a way to mimic your behavior and relate to you. That is adorable. That is adorable. Do you have any pets, Mecca? Do you have... She... She, <laughs> she slipped. You wish you did. Oh. I mean, it is really nice to have have um, have cats, but it's also it's also a little bit of a commitment. You want to get a dog soon, though. Thinking of getting a snake. I see. I see. Yeah. What what kind of dog are you thinking of? Also, I love snakes. <laughs> I love snakes. You gonna call the snake frog? That's that uh, that seems very specific. <laughs> um, any particular reason for that? Hold on, let me pause the music. And I also need to change the game capture because it's showing the last game that I played on stream, which was not Elden Ring. Um, you would love rats again. Hmm. Rats are adorable. The only sad thing is because uh, Terra, Terra Stormer, he he talks about uh, how sad it is when when uh, they get old and they've all gotten old at the same time now because he has rats and he only has one left now. When they don't live very long, it's kind of sad. Well, it's not kind of sad. It is It is sad. Also, it takes a while longer to capture Elden Ring, the game capture, than any other game, and I don't know why. So just give it a little bit of time. <laughs> just give it a little bit of time. You want a Doberman, but they're so high maintenance and take a lot of training, so you're gonna go for a German Shepherd instead. Mm. You find it funny calling a snake frog? <laughs> Dude, why isn't it... it... What? Hold on. It shouldn't take that long. Oh, there he goes. I need I need it to alt-tab, and then it showed up. I see. Just trolling me, game. Um... Jesus Christ. Cat hairs everywhere. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. Uh, we we also do have anonymous follows. In case you just wanna... Uh, anyone who is lurking. Um, I wanna stay lurking. Uh, it's rough. That's why you haven't gotten new ones. They have the shortest lives. Mm. <gasps> Lana, how you doing, Lana? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Also, yeah, seeing as she get resubbed, um, that means we have one sub on the on. Tusta. <laughs> Not one sub on the Tusta, but but um. For the weapon wheel spin, is what I was gonna say. Um. 
But yeah, I hope you're doing well. Do you have any plans this weekend, Lana? Or any anyone, really? You had a German Shepherd and he was filled with energy till he passed away. Make sure you don't have a job. He was a full-time job. I had a friend who... Um, they had a bunch of German Shepherds as well and they were very energetic. Um, you're getting there? That is good. That is good. Your thesis is- do you want Sunday? You're breaking it? <gasps> Wait, what is your thesis on? Also, yeah, we got to the- the, the Tower of Caled. The Divine Tower of Caled last time. So, um... That's what we're doing. I know this is- this should be locked. I'm just checking because... It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done. Um, I, I was just not sure if there was any doors leading somewhere else as well. Uh, been a rough week. Mm. Your nan had a one and he was the chillest dog you'd ever met. Honestly, I mean, it all depends on how you train them. Because it's like with uh, border collies, for example. Those, if those are chained well, those are the chillest dogs ever. But if you don't train them well, because they're really smart, they're gonna be a menace. So it all, it all depends on how, the work you put into, to training them and, and everything. Um, it's on internet. Slang, it's hilarious to see bruh and some vulgarity in an academic paper, but here we are. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, though. That sounds pretty cool. But I'm sure you're gonna do really, really well, Lana. I just don't want to trigger this asshole that is behind here. Ow! It's been a while. Dude, I rolled. It's been like... How long? Almost two weeks since I played. <laughs> I'm also just tanking it because I can. If I didn't have this big health bar here, I, I wouldn't be this reckless. <laughs> hey, welcome in! Welcome in! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! Hey, Jay! Thank you so much! How was your stream? You playing Marvel Rivals? I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a good stream. Um, yeah, go check out Jay as well. He's also part of uh, CKT as well as actually there are quite a few people from CKT in here right now. <laughs> go go check them out. Go check them out. Uh, you're studying academic esports this autumn, and you hope to have to write a paper with. Quotes from gamers who would love to put in an academic paper according to Sugar69. <laughs> uh, the mo mo most stressful fun you could ever have. Mm. When great, few wins, few losses, but good time. Hey, that is important. That is the important part. I'm glad you had a good time though. Um, Stark Squad dropping in to protect your galaxy. <laughs> Uh, uh, this area just makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm, I'm almost forgot to send that. <laughs> I was like, first I was like, oh, oh, that's a raid message. I see. And but it took me a few seconds. Like, oh yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> um. 
But yeah, we, we're currently playing Elden Ring. Um, this is my second playthrough of Elden Ring, and I played the first one as well on stream. So I'm using the exact same character that I used, uh, and that was when the game came out. So I haven't really played it um, alone since then. Um, and we're doing a... I hate this jump, by the way. <laughs> It makes me, it, it gives me this, this, uh, feeling in my stomach, uh, uncomfy feeling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, this jump right here, uh, is making me a little bit. Uncomfy. Because platforming in these games uh, is kind of tricky. <laughs> it's kind of tricky. Uh, and it's like, how can I, how can I aim for that when I can't see it properly? You know, because I can't see from behind me. I have to see from beside me, like this. Ah. Oh. This is, this is a butt clenching place. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> uh. Oh shit! That was close to me dying. Um, I I, would, I did not like that. I'm just, I'm just focusing. <sighs> well, that didn't do much. <laughs> that didn't do much. Uh, it's just, if he eats me off, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh, thank you. An easy win. That was nice. This one also make me, makes me nervous. <laughs> If food is extremely hot, just burn your tongue. Don't burn your tongue. What are you what are you eating, by the way? <sighs> okay. Well that helps. I remember coming here was, this was the first time that I actually got a good um, armor set uh, in my first playthrough. Because he dropped this, like this exact en enemy dropped uh, his outfit. So it wasn't until here that I got an outfit that I liked. <laughs> um. Hey old crow, how you doing? It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, chicken tikka masala with rice and not. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. You're doing good. I'm glad to hear. It. I'm glad to hear. It. I'm doing pretty good today. Um. Oh wait, I actually forgot to mention. Um. I got a call today from my boss because I haven't been to work in like a month because uh, they kind of just told me that there w wasn't any work for me in uh, the summer. So, but he asked me if I was ready to come back again on, on, uh, well, this coming week. So, 
so I am going to go back to work again this week. Wait, <laughs> that's not... <laughs> that's not where... But yeah, so that, that's going to be... Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say nice, but... Having a little bit more money again would be nice. <laughs> that will be nice. That sucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not really looking forward to it. Not really. But wait, how do I get all the way down? Is it this elevator? No, it's a different elevator. Um, money in this economy? Especially in this economy, <laughs> it's useful. <laughs> um, I guess I'm supposed to do more jumping down here. It's been a while. I, I kind of forgot how to do this. But money, understood. Yeah, but money. Exactly. Uh, it's one of the fake wall things where you jump 200 feet but somehow don't die. Now you're just lying. You're trying to trick me, right? Because I, I genuinely do not remember. I genuinely do not remember. Uh, why else would there be that ledge? You mean that ledge? No, because I jumped down here. Is that true? Uh, going into game? <gasps> We're gonna play. We're gonna. What are you gonna play? I genuinely forgot, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, I'm also very gullible, you know. <laughs> uh, no, you just try. You, you just trying to. You just trying to. You're just trying to make me die. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, though, because I still... I still got the shortcut, so it wouldn't be that far to go back here, but... No. Is that true? I do not remember this. Well, if, you, if I die, I'm gonna blame you. <laughs> well, I will die, yeah. It's true? No, it's not true. I died. I even died mid-air. See? Now you have made sure that I will never listen to you again. Was that worth it? Because I genuinely don't remember. Um, there's generally one of those drops, but it's not there. Mm. Rude. Sometimes feels like there's a uh, feel that Elden Ring is a parkour. Well, it's not. It, it's not that common for it to be parkour. Not that often. But this area is probably like one of the worst. <laughs> I have to go past the black flame monk. Oh yeah, that's true. I did think that there was something else there that I just missed. But let me just go and grab uh, my, my stuff. It's fine though. 
it's fine though. Yeah, it's it's over here. I don't like that little gap in between because I feel like even though it's a very small gap that it's still enough to kill me. Let's go. Let's go. You see, it just... <laughs> it's... It scares me. <laughs> uh, the worst is that spear guy when he charges you and hits you off. Mm. Yeah, they're not a good time. Well, that's rude. All I got is gauntlets this time. Yeah, I see it now. And I do remember, now that I see it, I do remember, I just, I forgot that there were two of those, uh, that break. Uh, I don't, I don't like these. Ah, <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't like it. It reminds me of those... Uh, dreams I had as a kid. We're just in, in free fall. <sighs> okay. What do you mean as a kid you still get those? What, what does that mean? Uh, it means something specific. But I thought it was related to growing, like growing pains and stuff. Wake up violently swinging. <laughs> Ow. Stop it! Usually I would just run past him, but... Why didn't you make the thing? Make the move? It's actually wild that he could, uh... Still... Cast that. Without getting interrupted. It's because when you fall asleep, your muscles relax rapidly, which creates the sensation of falling, apparently. Hmm. I don't think that I dream about that anymore, though. I haven't fought any of these yet in, in this playthrough. I don't know why, but it just comes so fast.
No. But I was healing. Dude. Range. What? No, 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 no. I was too far. I, I was too close. That was so annoying. <laughs> uh, I should not have gone into the corner. But that was. Okay. <laughs> that was okay. Uh I just did I just did a silly. I did a silly. Um Hey Orion. Yes he was. Yes he was. Um You hate this yeah, I don't I don't like it either. I I'm not a fan. My most hated boss fight in this game is still Godskin Duo. Remember this dude in this place, you can do it, he's not that hard. Well, yeah, he's not that difficult. Um, what? Rude! Dude, why do you have iframes when you jump? My timing is so off. <laughs> you interrupted my heal. I was very rude. Stop it! It's going so much worse now. <laughs> No, get away, get away! <gasps> I was about to pause and like, no, I can't pause in this game. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second and I will get to you. <laughs> Ow. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid! Ryder D, how was your stream? How was your stream? <laughs> uh, that was a sloppy attempt, but it still worked at least, so that's good. 
Um, <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. Hey, Gray Xanadu, welcome, welcome. And this be the Cassidy, welcome in as well. Uh, and I was gonna, I was gonna say Jesus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's like Jesus instead. I'm, uh, welcome in, welcome in, and Flemo Sicilian, Flemo Sicilian. That that sounds like some. Uh, I don't even know what I was gonna say, but um, it sounds like a type of medicine. <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. Um, the TARDIS is landing, Rider D raid. R welcome in, welcome in, guys. Welcome. In. I'm so sorry. I'm very, I'm very uh, awkward. Um, <laughs> it was good. You did so much dancing and language learning. Wait, you dance on stream? That's cool. That's cool. But I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. But how is Elden Ring treating you? It's treating me uh, well. Uh, well, not well, but it's 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 going okay. Also, welcome in. Thank you so much for the. Oh shit, we're getting an ad. I'm so sorry. I can't snooze it either. I just saw. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do anything. By the way, while the ads are running, don't worry about it. Um, but I'm so sorry. I would have snoozed it if I had seen it sooner. Um, but hey, Cronron, welcome in. Welcome in. Um. <laughs> Hey Craig, how goes the Ring of Elders? It's going, it's going fairly okay. It's going, it's going okay. Can't say that it's going great, but it is decent. Um, blends in with the raid. <laughs> hmm. Are you in the new DLC? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm base. I'm in the base game. I'm in the base game. Um. I'm gonna wait until the ads are over though, until I, I start uh, introducing myself and everything. Um, glad to hear you pronounce it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Did, did, was it, was it, uh, was it accurate? Was it accurate? Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, emotes. Emo dancing. I see, I see. I understand. You mean you wiggle in your chair, but you can call it dancing? Hey, any type of movement to a rhythm, I would say is dancing. So, even even some chair wiggling is, is considered dancing. True, true. But yeah, go check out Rider D if you haven't already. Um, they are currently playing... Um, well, besides Duolingo, they're also playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. You're doing a Karlak run, aren't you? I think that's what you you I saw that you were playing. Um but yeah, thank you so much for the the the, the follow. I appreciate it. We do have anonymous follows. Um good memory. <laughs> well, I mean, I do I do try to remember what people tell me. Uh I I'm not going to I'm not going to say that I will remember everything though because that's just going to accidentally make me shoot me in my my foot. But you know, we try, we try. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, um, yeah, we, we just beat a boss, as you guys saw. Uh, first boss of the day. Actually, we have just, haven't actually done anything besides this yet today in the game. So you haven't missed anything. And we are in Kaelid, so it's not DLC. It is not DLC. It is in the base game. And... Um, so yeah, if you are worried about spoilers for the DLC, you don't have to, to worry about that here because I'm pretty far away from getting into the DLC. <laughs> Very far away. Um, you have two Baldur's Gate 3 runs uh, right now, Karlak, Origin, and a multiplayer with streamers and viewers with his and Cronron and a fourth friend too. Oh, I see, I see. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. I also want to... I also want to... Um, do a multiplayer run at some point. Um, but GG's on the boss. Thank you. Thank you. Paladin all, all day. I've actually ne I've never played as a paladin, but I really want to. 
I've considered playing as a, a Bardadin, uh, like a combination of Bard and Paladin. Um, can't hear anything, but you're going to assume you're Team Paladin. <laughs> Maybe one day. But yeah, I think we're back from the ads now. We're back from the ads. So I, I apologize for that. It really sucks whenever an ad shows up after, like right after a raid. Uh, it's almost as if it's intentional, but... <laughs> But welcome back, guys. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Repikos. I am a Norwegian streamer. I'm currently playing Elden Ring uh, for the second time on stream. We're doing New Game Plus. Uh, well, I mean, second time in general, really. Um, so we're doing it on New Game Plus. We are fairly early in the game still. We are in Kaled. And... Um, and we're doing something called a weapon wheel spin uh, for every fifth sub or 1500 bits. So what I do then is that I spin a wheel that will pick a weapon for me out of 159. And um, I have to use that for 20 minutes. <laughs> but sometimes I end up using it for longer though. Um, so it's been it's been interesting so far. Uh, with this type of run, I have to say. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Barded in multiplayer activate. <laughs> I really want to. I've actually considered playing as a barded in on, on my uh, honor mode run because I'm planning on doing that at some point. And yeah, for those of you who don't, uh, haven't seen it before, I also... That's how Ryder D... Uh, Stumbled across my stream, I think, because of uh, because I was playing uh, Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> I was also playing uh, BG three because I love the game. I've done two playthroughs on stream, um, but I do think that people uh, got a little bit tired of me playing it, so I I needed to take a little bit of a break. So now we're doing something else. We're doing something else. Um, you're pretty sure you came in with Neil? Wait, you came in with a Neil raid? I actually don't know who else, who is still here, who got in through the, the Neil raid. That's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I got raided by Neil in, in February. So it's been quite a while. Hold on. Let me see. If it says the date that I think it was. No, I think, no, you must have come in after that. Because he rated me in February and it says you've been following since May. Quick tip, don't die. We're gonna try our best not to. <laughs> We're gonna try the best not to. Um, Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to go up to Wait. We don't have the great rune for this, do we? So we have to come back later. I forgot whose great rune it is that goes to this tower. Um, You must have found by searching Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure either then. But either way, I it's pretty pretty sure it was because of the game itself though. <laughs> um who's the hardest boss in your opinion so far in this game? Uh well, I have beaten it once. I have beaten the game once. So um if I am to say who is the most difficult I'm not entirely sure, but I think I struggled the most with the last boss. Gravity? That, that, you, well, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> you got me there. Nothing kills me as much as gravity. That is true. Good point, Orion. <laughs> Wait, we can go to Fort Height 
and and talk to him now, I think. Maybe. I, I just thought of that when I saw it. Like, maybe we can go and do that now. Um, but yeah, I would say probably the last boss was the most difficult for me. I don't want to say the name in case people don't want to know. <laughs> but... Yeah, that was what I... That was what I struggle with the most. In my first playthrough. It might be different this time, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know why you use Kappa, Orion. It's true. Dude, stop it. Why didn't it lock on to the right one? But yeah, also, I forgot to say, anyone who came in with raids and stuff, um, obviously, if you need to raid and run and take care of yourselves, feel free to do so. Um, because, you know, if you have been in a different stream where it has, you know, you've been been there for a while, might need to take a break or, or something, you know? Totally understandable. Um... But yeah, I've heard that something has changed with the no. Wait, yeah, we can just we can just say it. It's it's not like it's gonna be a well. I mean, it might be a spoiler, but would people consider it a spoiler if I talk about the last boss of the game? I mean, if people don't want to know, then I want to. I don't want to say, but but I've heard some some changes has been made. Uh, there to make it easier. I don't know how true that is, though. But I've just I've just heard it because when I've seen someone beat the boss, they didn't use uh, the change that they said was had happened, so I couldn't confirm or deny. Oh. Yeah, I should probably have talked to her first, then. It should be possible now to use Torrent. I don't know how helpful it would be, but it's just sometimes I, I can imagine that it would... Uh, Make it a little bit frustrating because the last boss is just, it's just so much running. Always good to see sun. Oh yeah, we also haven't com uh, like continued his quest either. So we need to go to the, um, the black knife hideout or whatever it's called. Also, we need to talk to... Nefeli. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic, I know, but. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic. Oh, okay, I know. okay, okay, okay. Okay. I haven't been down here at all. Uh, in this playthrough. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So what should we do next then? Should we go to any of the black knife stuff? I know I don't have to do any of the quests, but it's just you know that could be cool. Mm. I think in the black knife uh, place that I'm thinking of is where you get the katana as well if you don't get it as a starter weapon I was just very fascinated by that spider web because from here it looked almost almost like it was made out of gold <laughs> even though you don't have to do the quest it can still be fun to do mm. 
yeah, it's just I don't wanna I don't wanna have to like follow the quests uh very very closely. So if I miss some steps, that's fine, but You also have the invader in here as well. Oh yeah, that's true. Should we do that? We can do that. I forgot about that. I found him so late in my first playthrough that it was very easy. But I've heard that he's quite tough actually if you go here early on. I mean, he might be tough anyway. Them. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh I do like his outfit though. I do like his outfits. I mean, you don't get them here though, but where he actually is. Right? It's not here, is it? I'm pretty sure it's uh, in Landell. No, yeah, in Landell. Uh, mainly easy because no, I'm I'm definitely not, <laughs> definitely not a pro gamer. I would not go 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 that far at all because I have died to so many stupid things that any pro gamer will not die to. Mm, let us see. Let us see. For you, you jumped here very early and was very stubborn to defeat them. It took some time, but you did manage to do it. Mm. But thank you for the GG. <laughs> what did I even get from doing that? Did I? I didn't get anything, did I? I already forgot. Do you have anything new? That's great. I then own to our duties shared. We are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order. About Rajir. Yeah. You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling like he's half dead already. I take well that's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death when grace is sullied it rots people from the inside breaks them D. I serve the golden order that I might put this crooked land to right following only the guidance of the great Elden Ring those who live in death fall outside the principles of the golden order their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold tainting its truth and so it is the vermin must be exterminated down to the very last sure i absolutely hate this dude i, I do not like him at all uh since you're trying to fix your sleep schedule you're gonna log off and get ready for bed already hope you have a great rest of your stream good night everyone thank you so much for being here sarah i hope you sleep well you sleep well. It is twenty two twenty two. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we can give him the key. We can give him the key. I mean, he's gonna die if we do that. But oh well. I did forget to do that.
Hello. Back to learn another. Wonderful. You're most welcome. Give the uh, Academy Glintstone key. You're certain you're willing to give your Glintstone key to me. My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to I'm the standing academy. here. <laughs> to do my study of Glintstone sorceries. I'm the very stars. <laughs> back to learn another. Fine, of course. About the Glintstone key. Thank you dearly. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Oh, perhaps one day you'll pay me a visit. Who knows? I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. <laughs> what is the Thank you with your blessing. What is the lore behind him going there to die? Because I I don't really know if I ever understood why he like he's so happy to go there to study and then when you get there he's just dead. I do he does have a letter or something but I completely forgot what the letter says. He finishes his study, and so his goal then is to just die once he's done with it? What is the point of studying? If he's not gonna be able to use what he studied, and he's just gonna die. Death Touched Catacombs. That is the one I'm thinking of that we need to go to, I think. for um the the black knife stuff you're not actually sure but if that was like his life mission or something and, uh, and uh, or something and something wait wait but i'm just I don't know. Uh, you like doing the Black Knife Catacomb early because of the Talisman? I have not done New Game Plus. Oh, okay. I don't think I ever went here in my first playthrough. Well, uh, no, I did, but I did it very late uh, because I never got to do... Well, yeah, isn't this where you get the katana? If you don't have it as a starter weapon? I, mean, I went here really, really late, I think. Oh, damn it. I'm in for. My Norwegian came out. <laughs> um, I stopped myself before I went completely uh, full on Norwegian. It's like in Dark Souls, if you don't have anything to live for or like goals, you become hollow if you don't have any purpose or if you if you like that. You know, Elden Ring is not like that in that sense for the Tarnished, but you feel something similar than some of the enemies outside stabbed him or something. Nor nor vaprikosi. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I just I just find it a little bit strange. Oh, damn it. Um, I don't remember which way is the way forward, but we're just gonna... We're just gonna walk. God damn, why do you always have to miss? Or hit the wall. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not useful, okay? know that this one also comes back to life. Well, that was stupid because now I... Ugh, okay, fine. I don't like the rolling ones. <laughs> no, stop it. There we go. Sometimes in this game, there are characters who have too much knowledge or something and they either die or become in a state that they are not really responsive. So you don't know something like that could have happened. You mean maybe he was just working himself too much trying to do the stuff and pass because of that? No, but I mean, people already know the lore of the game, so it's like there should be an answer to it, like an actual answer. Wait. Hmm. Of course. What? Stop it! They're so annoying. There wasn't anything over here, no. Um, pretty sure there's something, but you have not encountered that yet yourself. There's so much lore. Mm. I think starting to really watch the lore videos right before the DLC dropped just didn't help you avoid spoilers, but it's so interesting. Yeah. I understand that. 
I understand. Okay, so that was it. I really thought that this was where you got the katana. Uh, you mainly watched world building lore and architecture stuff and stuff like that. I haven't gotten really... I see. I think the lore around the people is the most interesting in this game. I really hate the Black Knife Assassins. Like, they're cool, but they're really annoying. What? That was one hit! And I took over 50 <laughs> of their health. Uh, that's wild. Crimson Dagger. There's still so much you don't know. You do know, but it's all jumbled up. Mm. Need the videos and other people's takes, but then to put them all into perspective and stuff. Mm. Rods made a, a lore video uh, around the time when the DLC came out for YouTube. That was not DLC related. It was a stream though, like he he streamed it and then he edited it into a video for YouTube. It's only like half an hour long. I haven't watched it, I just, but I, I was there during the stream, so I haven't watched the video, but... It's definitely shorter than the, the stream. Alright, thank you for the five bits. Uh, also don't have the same investment in Elden Ring lore that, as in Dark Souls or Bloodborne lore, which is kind of un unfortunate and you wish you were more invested in it. Hmm. It's interesting because Bloodborne is the most interesting lore for me, but... Dark Souls lore has never interested me. I... I So every time I've I've heard about the lore and stuff, it's just it doesn't stick because I'm not interested in it. And I do find it kinda strange. Because I love the lore for these other games so much. So Quest-wise, this is not necessary to, at all. It's not until you get to this... Um... Wait, where is that? Oh yeah, it's it's here. This one, Black Knife Catacombs. This is the one that I meant. We need to go there. Is it like general lore about the people? You mean Dark Souls? For me, it's basically the same. Because I don't remember anything of either. Like... Especially not anything about the people. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the, oh, it's, um, it's mainly about... Well, it's about the people and why things are the way they are and stuff. So it's, it's a little bit of both, I would say. Hold on, I can find the video and post it in, in, in chat here if you want to see it. Um, I just need to open up his Discord because I know he shared it there. So, let me just find it real quick.
that should be the link. Oh! Oh! <laughs> right. Uh, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Um, for yelling, you needed to get it out. Why did you need to get it out? Wait, hold on. It's showing something. I just need to get it away. Um, there's so many details on world building, building details and Eldering, like, yeah, there, there is. There really is. Game? Can you... <laughs> One thing that I really don't like is that you have to alt-tab to, to get out of the... Um, need to use a different monitor. That is my, my main... Uh, complaint about these games. This stuff is so fucking cool and you want to combust because it's so cool. <laughs> you also feel like it j gets jumbled when you explain stuff. To be fair though, no matter how good or bad you are at explaining something, explaining lore like this to someone who don't know it, it's always going to be very confusing, no matter what. Uh... This whole place is so annoying. I remember I was here on my birthday when I played it the first time. <laughs> mm. Oh shit, I forgot about you! Oh no, oh no. Get <laughs> So just get, get get away. Mm. There a way to make it a bit more not so jumble, but it depends on that uh, what perspective you want to tell it from. You want to cry? Don't don't no don't cry. Sure that someone can make it out of wagons? I do not remember saying that at all. This guy was how I learned about uh, death blights in this game. Ow. Ow. Rude. Can you stop? It's so annoying. No, you were supposed to do the thing. Yeah, I 
always hate fighting that guy. It's not a good time. You feel a bit overwhelmed? Not sure if it's just you, if it's on purpose, but you feel the game sounds are a bit low. Yeah, that could be. I... It's so annoying because the, the... The volume levels will be different depending on the game. Or... What is playing. Like, making sounds and stuff. And... With this game, I had to turn it up quite a bit. The same thing is with uh, Baldur's Gate 3 as well. I have to turn it up so loud. So all the alerts also has to be really loud because it, the, um, the game sounds are at max. You just want to talk about all the things? Talk about it. That guy. I forgot that existed. <laughs> Why is that a quote? Why? Who made that quote? And it's like out of, out of context, it makes no sense. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they don't die quite as easily as the other ones. You might also have wrong information. That is also like you don't like that at all. Wait, about, about lore you mean? Bugged, right? Because I did hit it. What? Oh no, it's the it's the bell dude thing. I forgot about it. Never mind. I for, I completely forgot about that. Or that dude. Never mind. Uh see it's it's been a while, but I, I did remember that there was something. Um, you no, know, it w would be like just a mistake, like not super serious, but that makes you feel not good. I mean, I understand that. Ugh, dude, I hate when you... The text shows up. And you can't do anything. Because you forget to, to remove it. Or, like, click out of it.
did remember that part, though. Dude, what? Oh, shit. Forgot about it. Now go to sleep. Uh, that especially when it's for you. Do you want to summon Torn and use the flask thing like in the middle of stuff? Please just give Torn back. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It is just we don't have time for that right now. You know. But especially when it's like the, the stone sword keys you've used, or if you have opened the door to somewhere, like a, a door unlocked somewhere, and then you just forget to click out of it and just ruins everything. Dude, stop it. Is the specific button you try to click, it doesn't get away. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fine. Is this where the crab is? Maybe not. Well. No, stop it. Stop it! I'm trying to kill this one! I don't- I don't- I don't like... Yeah, see, like that? Now I I remember to click it away, right away. But <laughs> a lot of the time I don't. Yeah, I did remember that there was a big one. Uh, two big ones. Never mind. I did remember, though. This is a stressful, uh, catacomb. <laughs> and this is kind of fun catacomb to go help other people. And it blends really well. Yeah, you don't really see it. That's the problem. Just go to go and rest real quick. Wait, is there a is there a grace? Yeah, there is. I just feel like I used yeah I used all my FP flasks, and I like to not have them used up. That is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting where all the bosses are, like what bosses are in which places every time. So I had like, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. That's of course what it was.
lucky for me that it has so... That it's so squishy then. Like that was one hit and he was almost dead. <laughs> No! I didn't mean to hit you. Dude, it has so little health. <laughs> Can you guys stop following me? I'm always just out of reach. Ow. No, stop it. That has never happened to me before. I didn't know that was possible. I thought it was just poison or something. Good thing that I healed before that. There we go. That took way too long. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, it's so stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I really thought that there was something else here, though. I thought this is where you got uh, stuff related to that quest. But I did everything in here, didn't I? <sighs> I do remember that I picked up something else, and there were some... Um, some, um... Um... Black Knife Assassins or something here. And I thought it would be up here, but... No, stop it. Oh, is it a secret wall? Maybe. Truth will be there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew that there was something else here. I knew it. that I saved. No, saved. <laughs> I mean, healed.
Stop it! I really don't like fighting them. <laughs> there we go. It was the black knife print that I was looking for. That's why I came here. Uh, it always stresses me out. <laughs> um, would that work as a quote? Wait, what? What would what, what, what work as a quote? Um, because it shows what game it's from. Which one? Those grab attacks give you lots of trouble. Yeah, same, same. Hey, tattooed bard. How you doing? Oh, good thing that I saved. Oh, oh. Wait, actually, you know, that could be funny. <laughs> Dude, I forgot that I even said that. <laughs> uh, I forgot that I said that. <laughs> good thing that I saved. One of the few things that I've said that has been funny. <laughs> hope you're having a great Friday. Thank you. I hope you 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 you're having a good Friday too. Do you have any plans? Turtle poke. Uh, give a prayer book. Oh, very well. is all thing. I thought that I had to. Uh, playing games. That sounds like a good plan, to be honest. Okay, let us go to... I don't know why I went here, actually. Um... Let's go talk to Roger. Ah, oh, hello. You've been busy weeding death. I thank you. So what can I do for you? I just want to see if you had anything to say. Start to play quote bingo, so maybe one day we'll have them all. <laughs> Always good to see you, so give the black knife print. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Hmm, handed over the Black Knight print. I forgot to talk to Fia. I should have talked to Fia before I did that. Shit. Oh, had a change of heart. Or... I understand your disdain, but should you come pay me? Do I have to? Oh, I have to. Change of... I have to. God damn it. Eyes on the inside. You are what you felt light up inside you. Though it is, but come back to me. I will take you. Because she's giving me a debuff. <laughs> I am. Would you like me? The blessing is. Would you like to? I know I can get rid of it. But I I thought maybe she would have whispered to me before now I gave the black print. 
to him because she isn't she the one who gives me the map you are so oh talk in secret i was known after i received the warmth and lively vigor i lay with the remains of an exalted to do so but before i could i was awakened pray despite all that so please also, we having an idea. Um, do you know? My dear, have you ever heard of Black Knife prints? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed, and the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy these grand affairs are hardly my forte but dear roger began to weep as he spoke hmm about the black knife print in truth i've heard tell from someone else about the black knife prints that fascinate dear roger so yeah that's what I thought, that she was the one who gave you the map, and I just didn't do this. <laughs> I just went there, because I already knew where to go. But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hole. Perhaps you could make use of it? Found a simple map. I don't need it anymore, though, but I wanted to talk to her about Rajir now after I had given it to him. Because I thought she had dialogue after that. I am pleased. Would you like a blessing? Would you like... Now, come closer. Also, those dialogue boxes are a bit confusing because you feel like they're meant as not the tarnished PC saying it, but the NPC and like... But sometimes not. You are so very well. About Rogier. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Roger. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him. Despite his grievous wounds, you truly are a champion to dear Roger and myself too. Then good day to you, my dear. I don't think she has anything else to say, but I'm going to check one more time. I am pleased. Would you like me to blessing? Would you like now? Um, wish there was an option to zoom on the maps a bit better. Hmm. <laughs> Her clipping through the helmet. You are so then good day. Okay, she didn't have anything else. So cool, you can change the item to see the recently... Uh, yeah, the recently added ones. Yeah. That is good. The helm is, is made out of memory foam. Mm. It's true. It's true. Okay, let us go and... Um, Rest and then talk to him again. Ah, hello. I was hoping to see you. My examination is complete. Here's the knife print back, with my thanks. Hmm. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Night of the Black Knives. Lunar Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. 
isn't she the one who is um at the top of the the Caleb tower is that where she is or is it a different tower Ronnie yeah I have some idea of Ronnie's potential whereabouts there's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Karian royals from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manor in which she was born. Um, Ronnie's body's in the Lyurnia Tower. Wait, Lyurnia Tower? We talk- we talking about the- I'm talking about the Divine Towers. Oh, the study- oh yeah, that's true, that's true. I forgot that that was a tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that that was a tower. Like, I know that you need to get the, the, the hourglass from her. But I forgot that that was an actual tower. <laughs> um, no, no, I know, I know all of that. I just, I just forgot. I just forgot that that was a tower. Who is at the top of the tower in Caleb then? Is it just a, a hand? A hey, palm? Are you back? You back? Was that a question? Yeah. <laughs> um, why do you want a curse mark? I'm afraid there's something I must tell you. Do you know of those who live in death? The very notion of life in death defies the golden order. By Dee's account, these defiled fiends must be expunged. But truth be told, I seek the curse mark to save them. You may find this peculiar, but I discovered something in my examination of the Knight of the Black Knives. These souls have committed no offense. They have every right to life, only they happen to touch upon a flaw in the Order. Hmm. About Dee. Yes, indeed. If Dee knew what drives me now, he would surely boil over with rage, or perhaps he would even feel some pity. But no need to fret. None of that will come to pass. I can tell a good lie when I need to. Rani's whereabouts. If Luna Princess Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. Would you be willing to procure it for me? She may have returned to the manor that is her home. The Royal Karian Residence to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. If Luna Prince and she should bear I just want to see if you had anything else. Royal Kari I guess that's where we need to go next then, to go and see Rani. Um cute nose. Wait, that's not what it means. I know I know it sounds like it, but actually I don't know why what noose comes from like what that actually means Radon Wait, should we go and see Radon first? Is that what you're saying? You're so back. Feel like you can now also watch the streams in higher quality and it does feel nicer. Mm. <laughs> all all of you so you're talking about yourself, Palm. You know, it's like a term like of endearment. Yeah, it's it. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a term of endearment. Ronnie next will be cool, but Ron in the Kaled Tower. Oh, in the Kaled Tower. I see. I see. Yeah, we can we even fight Radon until we've talked to Ronnie? Wait, maybe? Actually, well, I forgot what triggers uh, the festival. What is it that actually triggers the festival? Thank <laughs> you. 
don't know about that. <laughs> the festival is from Ronnie's quest, or you think resting in Altus Plateau? Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I thought, but I wasn't entirely sure. Because I did remember that she was the one who... Also, I don't know why I went this way. Seems like a bit of a... Um, a long oh, way around. Uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Hello again, Palm. You think Alexander needs to be knocked... Get knocked off at least? Wait, knocked off? Yeah, but I mean, we have, we have talked to... Um, Alexander. Where he has also mentioned the, the festival. Um, and that was in Caled. When we saw him last. Um, in the tunnel. Alexander already was met in the Gale tunnel. Yeah. And butt slapped. Yeah, we also slapped his butt as well. That's true. That reminds me, seeing as it's August now, next month is when I will be getting my Alexander plushie. Because it was a pre-order, because it will be released in, in September. September. You should also get some bun. Go get a bun. Also, thank you for the redeem palm. It's such a long way around. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I was like, isn't there a, a grace here? Yeah. Did I not have this grace? Damn. Is this is what I was looking for on the map, but then I was like, yeah. I hadn't found a grace here. Also, EG. Yeah, I love EG. The food also. Go, go get it. Go get it. Food is important. Okay, I will take a break soon, Orion, and then that will give you time to get up and get food as well. Because I forgot to... Well, I didn't forget, but I didn't get the... God damn it. <laughs> it's rough when you can't... when you haven't locked on. But yeah, I didn't I didn't take a break when there wasn't a break because I was a little bit busy. Isn't there a oh fuck. Isn't there something underground here where there's a revenant the way wolves move in this game are kind of funny sometimes it's like they're just I don't know it's just funny.
They're just taking a nap right now. It's true. It's true. They are. <gasps> I don't know if I've ever found this person before. Wait, no, no, no I, I need to see it again because I skipped it. These royal grounds were placed in our trust, but we stood no chance. I don't think I've ever seen this person. It doesn't seem familiar to me. Like the jump to the side? No, it's, it's more like... They kind of look like dolls, the way they move. The way their legs move and stuff. Shouldn't there be something here, though? Is it hidden? I don't know. It's been a long time. I don't remember. Either way, it doesn't, doesn't matter. We can just skip it. It's not important. Their fur is so strong, you can pet them with katanas. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> but the loot, I know, I know, but I, I am. Did that dude talk? I don't know if I've ever heard them talk before. Maybe I have, but I just don't remember. Hmm. Stop it, piece of shit. Wait, where did he end up? There. You know how I got through here to the other side? It was not by going here. I didn't know that was possible. I, I jumped around with torrent. Around here. Or the other side, I don't remember which side. I felt really stupid when I figured out that you could actually just... <laughs> oh no, it was definitely not on this side. It was on the other side then. I think it's closer to the EG side and if you come from there... The side to the left, you really don't like... Those when they teleport, yeah. You think you jumped as well? I thought that the Revenant was closer to the Grace, like the other Grace. Hello! I love EG though. He's He has such a nice voice too. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished? What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. Because he's like... He's like a... He, he, he reminds me of like an, a nice old grandpa, you know? So this will be done without any prep, so hoping for the best. Oh. Oh, damn. That was close though, Orion. Oh, watch out there. 
When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. <laughs> I think I actually... I think I highlighted every uh, first meeting that I had with everyone in my first playthrough. <laughs> Brave Tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rea Lucari Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor. Unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the cuckoo. But Blythe sent me. Blythe actually did that? Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. Oh, about advice. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the Royal Carrion Manor. Whatever you do, brave tarnished. Hmm. I don't remember if I ever had this one. I mean, I probably did, but... I do like EG though. Didn't you use that also? No, I don't think so. No. I haven't actually checked... Checked them properly. In my first run? I don't think so. I mainly used FP. No, uh, not FP, but uh, HP boosting talismans, really. Or... Uh, some that would be helpful against certain types of damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick break because I didn't get to take a break earlier and I kind of need one. So. I will be right back. Uh, and you guys take a break too, if you need to. You know, you should, you should. I'll see you in a bit. I'm, I'm gonna run an ad while, like, even though we had an ad like half an hour ago. I'm still going to run a new one, because then it will take even longer. Those who time. seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. It's very true. Though. Though. <laughs> Though. <laughs> Not wrong numbers. <laughs> Wait, what, what was the... <laughs> what was the number you meant, Ryan? <laughs> Are you not going to get cheese? But thank you for the 30 bits though. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back. See you in a bit.
Oh, now look. You've scared off the little snack. We're back. We're back. <laughs> There's a word snack. We don't want to know you which clip it is. Oh, is, uh, I think, is it a starian saying, oh, you let the little snack get away? Is, is that it? Um, where is that from? It's when you get uh, the owlbear coming to your camp. And, um, Yeah. You palm? Hey, palm. Hey, palm. Hold on. Hey, 
Yeah, we're gonna go and see Ronnie. Yeah, he he was talking about the owl bear. Ow. I went the wrong way. There it is! I think. Yeah. I was too close to the wall. <laughs> there we go. Got some toasted bread. Nice. No, he w he would never. I think he only says it as a as a joke. Uh. I really don't like this place. <laughs> I really don't like this place. Do not enjoy. It's nasty with the hands and everything. You only put smog on, though, not oost. Mm. <laughs> uh, you actually said it in Norwegian. I think you said it in Norwegian more than than uh, Swedish. Is it the same in Norwegian? Yeah. But also butter is also... Is what I meant. No, no, I, I was talking about butter specifically, not, not cheese. Um... Not the old Benorix. No, I it's it's the same in Swedish though, it's just a different uh <laughs> It's just a different uh This one always looks so sus. And then there's nothing there. Uh. Stop it! Dude, that's rude. I 
I don't want to talk to the hand. I know we can't enter, but I still I still always have to do it, you know? <laughs> nope. Nope. You remember once thinking you would like to learn all Nordic Scandinavian languages? Stop it! Shut up! I was talking to the hands. Even though I said that I didn't want to talk to the hands. <laughs> I don't want to talk to the hands. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk to the hand. Those uh, knights outside are also n not fun, but at least they're better than the hands. I forgot, is there a way to get up there? I don't know if I've ever been up there, if, if there is a way. Oh yeah, there is. Hmm. But how? I don't think that I've ever been that way. And yes, of course, I start looking for <laughs> hidden walls. Because then... <laughs> That's just what you have to do. Like how you place... Oh, and I was anal. Yeah, I... That one... That is a quote that I very well remember. And you were there for that too, Ryan. <laughs> you want to build a button, man. <laughs> uh, that was funny, though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have. I, I do. I do think that I've been there before. I see now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because you jump from from um, from the manor. Uh, well, I mean, and there's some pots over there or something. I, I vaguely remember now that I have actually done that once. It was so funny. It was really funny. <laughs> have you been there early or late? Wait, on the roof? When you ask like that, that makes me think that there is um, a death right bird or something. 
And if there is, then I definitely have not been there late. Uh, if you mean late at night. But that's different. Was I right though? Was that what you meant? There is no bird? Okay. <gasps> burb! See, burb! Burb triggers it too. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, there's something, but do you think it goes away if something has happened? If what has happened? You you can tell me. I, I don't I don't care about spoilers uh, at this point when I've You can just tell me. I don't mind. And especially Burb, yeah. That's adorable though. There's an NPC person you think you can buy a couple of things, but they die after a certain point. Oh, I have definitely not done that. You get there from behind Selvis's rise. Oh, I don't think that I've been there then. Can you remind me in case I forget? I want to. I want to go there then. <laughs> I don't think I've done that. It's tied to Selva's quest and uh, Orani's by that also. Hmm. I mean, I did... I don't know if I did every single step of Celibus' quest, but I did most of it. Like I, but I refuse to give uh, the, um, the potion that he wanted me to give. Like the cutoff point? You think they die after Selavis dies? Mmm. Yeah, I probably didn't do it then. You can make the potion and it doesn't count as betraying Ronnie, but you would have to do that before Ronnie goes to sleep. Never even got it first round, but now you did get it but didn't give it. No, but I mean, I gave the I gave the um, the potion to Gideon, I think, off near. I think I gave it to him, but I didn't give it to um, not the sleep potion. I think someone said on s somewhere that you can even give the potion to Ronnie and absolve in the church and then you can still continue Ronnie's quest. But doesn't he ask you to give it to um, Nefeli though? Isn't that who he wants you to give it to? Get some reward if you get the ingredients from Altus Plateau for the one that would get rid of Ronnie. I forgot the wording. I can give that potion to Nefeli or the Dung Eater or Gideon. I thought it was meant for Nefeli. But are you talking about a different one?
Because if you're talking about a different potion, then I don't know if I know which one you mean. Yeah, but you're talking about one to give to Ronnie. And I don't know what you're talking about then. It would be fun to give it to the Dung Eater, though. I haven't tried that. That is when Selvis asks to betray Ronnie. I don't know if I ever got to that point. Yeah, to buy puppets from him and do this. I don't think I ever did that. Rude. I was just minding my own business. You have to do it before you give Ronnie the stuff because he dies. Hmm. Yeah, he just died for me. I believe. I don't think I've done all of that stuff at all. But why does he die then? Like, if that happens automatically, then what is it that actually kills him? Because I have forgotten now. I do remember that he just died though. I didn't do anything about it. He just, he just died. <laughs> When you give Ronnie the Finger Slayer Blade, he dies. Hmm. Yeah, there's so many things that I just don't remember. Like all the different steps and stuff. Isn't there some dude here? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, these are the things I remember. <laughs> Not important things. These are a pain in the butt. Well. Sometimes they are. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do that after I've beaten I'm beaten her. So I can come back here. Oh no, I wonder what this means. <laughs> see it.
What is that range? No! There we go. There we go. Um, you can give the potion to Dung Eater. It does lock you out of that ending and the quest, uh, or the Nefeli to end her quest as well. And then you can ask about the puppet room where you can find puppets selling and then you can buy the puppets to learn how he wants to betray Ronnie. Wait, but how does that affect Nefeli's quest? What does she have to do with Dung Eater? Thank you. Uh, and if you go get the item from Altus Plateau, he makes the potion to give to Ronnie. I am so confused because I don't remember any of these steps at all. Except the potion you can give to Nefeli or Gideon. I think I just missed a bunch of steps in that quest. I mean, it's funny because Loretta was never an issue for me on my first playthrough either. I did it on the first try there as well. And... The only time that I, I struggled was with the the one at um, the Haley tree. That one I, I had a bit... Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I struggled, but I did have more issues with it. Ah! Nefeli and Dung Eater are not related that way at all. It's just if you give the potion to either of them, the quests, their quests will end. Yeah, but you said... I thought you meant that if you gave it to the Dung Eater, then you will also not be able to finish Nefeli's quest. Or was that only if you gave it to her... I, I might have just misread then. And before all that... After the first meet, you can... get uh, the sell an introduction item. Wait, sell an introduction item?
they're separate if you give a potion to the other or to Gideon or to none the other will not be affected okay so for like quests uh, progression it's best to just give it to Gideon then I mean I don't care about um, dung eaters quests so if it doesn't affect anything else than his quest to give it to him, then I, I would just give it to him. There really is nothing here. Not worth doing at all. If you give the potion to Nefali or Dung Eater, you get the respective puppet available available to buy from Celibus, so that's the upside, you guess. But you could give it to Dung Eater and still do Nefali's quest. Hmm. What would you even do with a puppet, though? Like, what is it used for? Is it like a summon type of thing? Stop it. If you don't plan to get that ending, um, wait, what do you mean ending? Do you just mean the quest? Uh, and Bogart would probably also stay alive. It's like a summon. Really don't like Celibus at all. I, I don't either. I hate him. It's like one of those few people where you get the right idea from the beginning. It's just even they just turn in turn out to be even worse than you thought. Mm, there's his own dung eater quest ending if you give him the seed bed curses. Yeah, but when you say ending, I think of like an actual ending, not not just quest. Um So it do, but it doesn't like actually affect anything with endings. Ending to the game. But I I did his quest and I never got that in my playthrough. It could also be because I did the uh, Frenzied Flame ending, so then maybe just nothing came of that. Hey Chris, how you doing? I don't think you gave him enough seedbed curses then. I did finish his quest and I gave him all the seedbed curses that I could find. Um, And I looked for them, like I, I actually went on to find all of them. So that will be the reason. Mm. 
It's weird because when they said that it locked you out of other endings, it, they were very not specific about it. Um. Yeah, I, I know. I know you can get rid of it. But the point when they said that it locked you out of other endings, they were so unclear about how they said it. Like, what it actually meant. You doing? Hope your queens are all the doing. Doing pretty good. How was the, the, the drinks with the right card? <laughs> if you have a, any of the others, you just choose the correct summon sign at the end. Hmm. Well, maybe I will do it after all then, because I haven't seen that. The only ending that I've gotten on my... my own playthrough has been the Frenzied Flame. And we didn't do any, any quests in our... Uh, seamless co-op run. I think should be able to unlock all the endings to be available, including including frenzied flame. Such a terrible place to fight. <laughs> hey, seniors. Nah, stop it. What a coward. He was too scared of me. Seamless is still your favorite playthrough. Think about it so often. <laughs> it was so much fun. Ugh, I I want I want to do something like that again. We should do that with the 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 DLC and stuff too. The cold bothered him anyway. Mm. <laughs> it was the best to play with laugh so much. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, it was so much fun. Honestly, it was like every Wednesday was It was it was a highlight of the week. Let's just say that. It was a lot of fun. Ugh. I miss it. I'm I'm really glad that I also didn't stream it, but that other people did. Like, in a way, I'm, I'm glad that... Mainly because I could, like, just focus on having fun and not pay attention to, like, chat and stuff. Um, but I'm really glad that other people did, like you and, 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 and Rods did. Well, I guess I'd, I have to go up and talk to... Uh, Ronnie first. Um, so hi for Wednesday, yeah. It was a good day. It was a good day. I wish we, we could play something else. I want us guys to hang out and play something else. I, I said us guys, as if uh, like I'm, 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 but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Um But yeah, what did you you what did you and 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 
I was about to say Rykard again. <laughs> what did you and Rykard get up to? Let's see. I'm I'm a guys too. I'm a guys too. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess I guess I am. I guess I am. Ugh. But if if we were to play something else, though, what should we play? Richard hung out with you and your workmates. It was great. Oh, I thought it was just the two of you. I see, I see. Are we ready? <gasps> Look, there she is. There she is. The best. The best of the best. Doing fairly okay. There's been some stuff and plans that have changed that it caused a bit frustration and anxiety, but right now we can okay. Mm. Look at her. I love Ronnie. I love Ronnie. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. You must be Ronnie the Witch behind the Knight of the Black Knives. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the Witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death and used it to forge the godslaying Black Knives through fearsome rite. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away, and it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. Hmm. And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed, but all the same. Thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. We now, do. be gone. You don't have to say anything else. The curse mark the now. Hmm. It was supposed to be just the two of you, but plans changed and you all hung out as a big group and it was great. That sounds like a lot of fun. The amount of Welsh people in Elring is so good. Yeah. We also talked to... Thops, I guess, uh, earlier, and I was like, I didn't remember that he also spoke Welsh. <laughs> I didn't hear this dialogue until recently. Uh, because you didn't- was it because of Rajir's quest? Yeah, I didn't hear it on my first playthrough either. I think she asked me a question, and I either had to lie or tell the truth, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what it was, though. But I've only done this once before, and that, and that was on my off-stream playthrough that I never finished. I never fought. I think the last big boss fight that I did was... Um, uh, Radon. I guess I should just rest and talk to her again. Or, no, 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 wait, I need to go back to round table hold, don't I? Um, you never did ro uh, ro rogue's quest until fo uh, fully until recently. Mm. Yeah, rogues. <laughs> I, I, I knew what you meant, though, but I just I wanted to it out loud. Always good to see you safe. So, 
Uh, Ronnie cast off her curse mark. I see. When Ronnie shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the sly. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, so you are lying to her, um, in this, when you do it this way. It, it's not in the, the other way. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Rajir's proposition. Can you become Rani's vassal to advance our agenda? While in her service, you'll be able to take a poke around on the sly and determine the location of her original body that bears the curse mark. I realize that I'm asking you to put yourself in grave danger, but I know you've got what it takes. Quite possibly the only one, in fact. Yeah, I love Rajir. He's he's the one that I'm the most sad about dying. Well, I mean, except Blythe, but you... I'm always very confused about how that whole thing played out. Played out. Okay. I don't think she has anything new to say, but I want to see anyway. Uh. What what is going on, Orion? I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me? The blessing is. Would you like to be it? Now. Yeah. Come close. Blythe is is Chris's husband. It's true. It's true. Blade. Yeah, Blade. <laughs> Nothing. What do you mean? day to you okay she didn't have anything new to say that is okay we got a hug at least i've heard when when people talk to her or mention her name on stream it always sounds like they're saying my name greetings are you here for no let us talk to nefeli again just to see Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know, but... Okay. F and P are also the same letter physically, almost. Th true. It's just, um... F is a less evolved letter, I suppose. <laughs> it's, it's not finished yet. It's not quite finished. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rods! Hello! Welcome in! <laughs> Welcome in! Rods, how was your stream? Did you do the thing? Did it work? Did it- did you- did you- How was the thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. How was how was Fallout London? How was it? Did you did you fix the issues with the crashes and stuff? Also, thank you so much for the follow. By the way, we do have anonymous follows for those who want to lurk in peace and just you know chill. Hey, Mr. Sandman, Mr. Sandman. Yeah, you helped you helped Rods with the 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 thing. The I keep saying the thing. Uh, you know what I mean. Hold on. I need to, I need to alt tab to actually scroll up and see my chat. Um but hey Lauren. Lauren, we're doing some exploring. Uh well actually not right now, but we are gonna do that. I'll be doing better, Lauren. And um But you did the thing. You did the thing. You ran great after you uh after you ran the fixes. That's good to hear. That is very good to hear. 
<laughs> so this is where that works is lurking. He hasn't been here for long, though. He showed up not too long ago. Didn't crash again? That is good. That is good. Mr. Sandman guided you to victory. Good to hear. That's good to hear. That worm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But yeah, welcome in, Mr. Sandman. Um, come to the moon? The moon? I mean, we have just visited Ronnie, which is the, you know? It's so, we're kind of there already, in a way. Or on the way there. Um, I forgot Chris is drunk, now he's going to cry when he gets in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your pauper limousine to the moon. Mm. Hold on. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, my name is Veprikos. I am a Norwegian streamer. I am currently playing Elden Ring for the second time uh, on stream. We're doing New Game Plus. Um, We have just gone and talked to Ronnie. And we have talked to Rajir. Uh, and he wants us to become one of her vassals. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk to her. Again. The bloody moon. <laughs> Playing at DJ hours. It's it's just a little over midnight. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then I bid you welcome. I am known as a tarnished I am a you now. Mm. You'll be after more great How does the weapon away. spin work? Oh, um and as your fellow Allow me to dive all the inheritors of we of the Godric Hold on, let me let me just make him stop yapping. Um the grace given and you'll still be up. I wanted to talk to him about uh Nefeli. But yeah, um so how it works is that for every fifth sub or 1500 bits, I do a uh wheel spin which is uh well, it's it's a wheel spin with 159 weapons, and it can be any type of weapon except not staffs and not um, seals. So it's mainly melee weapons and bows. So um, so far we have had nine weapons, as you can see. There, there's a list of all the weapons we've had so far. You didn't know how- you don't know how to spell? Hey, it's fine. I also don't know how to spell a lot of the time. <laughs> Spelling is overrated anyway. Mm. <laughs> Does it ever repeat? Uh, well, it hasn't happened yet because it- uh, But if it does repeat, I'm just gonna spin again. Um, because there's so many. There's so many. So the likelihood of it happening twice uh, is very low. But if it happens early on, then I I would probably just respin. Gijin, wait, what is that? What it says? <laughs> um, but yeah, Nefeli's despair. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicion, so I had no further use for her. Honestly. What a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. I I can't stand this dude. <laughs> um you need to get going though. Hope you have a wonderful wonder wonderlicious stream. That that that's a new one. <laughs> Oh, we kill all the people. Not all the people. But thank you. Thank you. And also, go follow Rods if you haven't already. Do it right now. I actually did share your uh, lore, uh, lore video in chat earlier. Um, in case people wanted to check it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for the raid, Rods. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Um, the odds are the same if you have it totally random because it's the same amount every time to choose from. 
yeah, but it's more like if it happens early on, I will just... It, depending on how many wheel spins we've had, is what I mean. It doesn't have anything to do with the likelihood um, whether I will spin again or not. Um, shared lore video? Yeah. Of course, of course. Because we were talking about lore. It seemed relevant, you know? Time to go eat? Go eat. But eat more than just um, stale bread with olive oil. You know? <laughs> I hate that he leaves angry. <laughs> Are you saying that you're not angry? It's because he's from Manchester, that's why you can't stand him? Oh, mm. my apologies for that nasty business. Encher got rather ahead of himself as his master. But now, finished. I'm not... I... Uh, no? I don't have anything against people from Manchester. <laughs> you don't have money for olive oil? So it's 90% soy oil and 10... What do you mean? Stop lying. <laughs> yeah, I kill Gostock, by the way. Because he pisses me off. It's true, you will send a picture, but you have sent a picture before, but a picture can say so many things except the truth as well. I'm just gonna see if I need to rest before I talk to her again. Forgot about that quote. <laughs> I forgot about that quote. It does. It. I do. I think I remember exactly what I said in that whole it, it conversation. That was funny. Um. <laughs> But have a good one, Rod. So have a good one. And I'm no, I'm not clean gang. Should John T's from Manchester and he's the worst? <laughs> you should kill Gostock. Yeah. Yeah. He pisses me off because he when I once I learned that he's the one who he, he like he steals your money, he stalks you around the castle, and he also is the one that locks you in the, the room with the knight. I was like, no, he's gonna die now. On my off-stream playthrough, do you know what I did? I actually snuck up on him while he was on the rooftop. You know, the um, there is a roof rooftop rooftop in between. Um, well, it's it's in the building where Rajir is where you first meet him. So he's like at the top of that ladder, and I just I just yeeted him off there. That's what I did on my off-stream one. <laughs> Green means clean. <laughs> what are we talking about? Jaunty, a character in the game. No, no, we are. Well, we are talking about Jaunty as well. <laughs> what does Jaunty do? To you? <laughs> no. Yeah, we're talking about God. We're talking about a person in the game. Ah, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. But... I heard from Gideon. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. Hmm. Well, he deserved it. And I... Can no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Yes. No. How could I say that? Father has always given and now. No. How could I say father has and now? Okay, let me see. I need to go and rest and see if she has anything new to say after that. 
So the reason why I saw I saw a lot of these things on my off stream playthrough that I never finished. The reason why I never got very far in that was because I tried to do every single step in every single quest. And it becomes exhausting. And it becomes overwhelming having to do everything because you get so anxious about moving anywhere in case, oh, if I go too far, then I will not lock myself out of this quest. Um, so that's how I did the, the Raji quest and got to see everything with Ronnie once you've done his quest as well. No. How could I father has now? Okay. Jaunty locks me in a room comfort. <laughs> Uh, hey, you never know. You never know. I didn't know about Goss Talk until uh, Goss Talk until um, someone told me. So you literally can never know until y you you know. You know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go talk to Ronnie again. You can kind of understand that. There are some minor ones, like, uh, that... Skip character in some location. The reason why I knew that you meant skip was because I have the... the, the I'm, I was thinking of autocorrect on my own phone, and it just made sense that you tried to say, say skip. <laughs> some minor ones that... Uh, skip characters in some locations and some dialogue or some rewards, but most big ones cut off points are the same. Hmm. Were you typing from keyboard? Oh shit, I was about to jump down there. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You don't die. <laughs> um. Well, keyboard and bullets. Well, Keyboard is the same on phone. Right? Okay, let's become her vassal. Let's do it. Rani, my beloved. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. I wish to serve you. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst render me aid. Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more? If my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. Why, thank you. Let us see, Bronnie. <laughs> Are you typing is so different on mobile than PC because also if you have the autocorrect on, mm. her voice is so nice. It is. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior <gasps> by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor. And Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts, also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. So, the, the funny thing is, the first time that I played this, when I went down below here, that was actually the first time that I met Blythe. And I'm so sad about it. <laughs> Well, I, w I was so sad about it that I didn't meet him where I was supposed to meet him the first time. The way she just knows? Mm. <laughs> Hold on, I need to 
dice así. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> Wait, when you're all done for, for the D. Wait, wh why didn't it show? Oh, you did wish.com and that's why it was deleted? Oh, yeah, it deletes. Um, it deletes links, I suppose. <laughs> wish.com when you want to the DLC. <laughs> yeah, we talked... I I did talk about that, actually, before you showed up, uh, Chris, that I'm kind of, I was kind of hoping that we could do the DLC together um, once we've all finished it. What does that even mean? <laughs> Wait. You didn't meet Blythe here at all? You didn't meet him here? Well, I mean, it wasn't him, but it was like a... An image, like the, 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 I was going to say a projection of him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so the spam bots don't get free reign. Mm. Yeah, it's actually not a, uh, something that I have added. It, I think it's just something Twitch has added. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Mm. What's wish.com then? Wish.com was what we called uh, our... F we called uh, uh, ourselves the wish.com fellowship when we played uh, the, the seamless co-op of Elden Ring together. That That is, that is our name. Oh, he was not here as a hol hologram projection. <laughs> You're down. I'm glad. I'm glad. No, a hologram. <laughs> Speak with our needs, okay. not in it has been a. Okay, I just want to see. I just wanted to see. Uh. I'm like, that is like very close to being enough to die. So I'm, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> to see is to see. <laughs> it is deserved. <laughs> that is safe to fall, can confirm. I have, I know that the jump below here is safe, but I wasn't sure about this one. But I do know that if you jump to the uh, level below here, that is safe. Wait, so you didn't meet any of them like this? Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji. The Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Mm. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves. We can't Together. all know everything at all times. For Lady Rani. For Lady Rani. Let us give all that we can. Together. Uh, you met E.G. and Celibus. You think Bernard Blythe? You think he was in somewhere... Already in Sea of a River, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, but I mean, because he's not actually here. Because he is at Sea of a River now as well. Like this is not him. Ah. Long time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. 
Hmm. So he told me this in my first playthrough as well. Like this was the actual first time that I met him. And then when I met him, when he's in his corporeal form, <laughs> that was a knock on or I'm going below to the west. See if I can't find. Don't keep me waiting. Well, knock run, but a sea offer, I mean. Uh, you're doing a real uh, thorough playthrough at the moment, and it's surprising how many things you miss in the rush playthrough. Mm. Yeah, and that's also what I wanted to do when I started playing. So I, before I was done with the first playthrough, and shortly after the game came out, I, I tried to do um, a really thorough one off stream. Like parallel to the one that I did on stream, so I could do all the quests that I had missed. But it it just became so overwhelming because there's so many things to do. I see. Yes, I shut up. I don't. I don't. I don't even want to hear him talk. I pay me should if it were up, but who am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pay me should if it were up to me, but who am I? I just wanted to exhaust the dialogue. Um, I think he was at the festival because maybe you, because the duo virgin fight after the abduction you got to Altus to trigger the festival because you didn't meet him in these. Oh, that could be it then. Yeah. Um, you know, but he says here now he goes the to see Ofra, but if he's already at the festival, he wouldn't be here. Hmm. I mean, that explains it then. Even when you can still, uh, then you can still miss things and some things can't be done in one playthrough either, but it's so cool how many, how much, how many things you, how many things there are. I don't think there's meant to find absolutely all, uh, well, yeah. That's fair. A dang good dialogue skipped you, <laughs> you duck. That's that's kind of insulting to to ducks, though. When you say, uh. Does this mean that I have to rest? Yeah, I probably have to rest before I do anything. I think that's what I had to do before. So it, it disappeals. Um, I don't imagine you can do everything in one playthrough, but it's so easy to miss things. Hmm. Sorry, ducks, but also ducks are kind of assholes as well. What do you mean? Geese are, are assholes, but not ducks. You've done like 40 playthroughs and you only just found the Ronnie dialogue after doing the Raji quest line? Hmm. Yeah, I went out of my way to be able to, to do that the second time to do Raji's quest line because I felt so bad when I found the place under uh, Stormvale Castle and just saw him there. And like, damn, I missed this on my first playthrough and I just wanted to do all of it. So I made sure that I looked it up so I got everything and like all the steps. Um, This game never stops giving and it's wonderful. It's true. It's true. Do you know that if a duckling is bored, apparently they can start to eat other ducklings? Damn. It's <laughs> Richard. Uh... <laughs> Only the, um, done like one and started a couple and now one where you in the DLC and we'll do 
the rest of the main game also after. <laughs> uh. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being? Uh, Perhaps I'll give you. I'd like shut to up. You can. Uh. Good. Now I shall hand it. Find Nefeli and ensure she. I expect. So maybe I should. <sighs> I have no time. The only thing I are we and I have enough. So I was tempted to just give it to to the dung eater then, but now that I s now that you said that, Orion, I feel like I shouldn't. And I should just give it to to Gideon. Master mind Baba. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Celibus is such a- yeah. Everyone hates Celibus. Everyone should hate Celibus. He's a Richard. <laughs> yeah. It's the... The memory stone. That was a close one. Yeah, I think I never got this mask uh, in this playthrough, like on, on this character. Um, were you thinking a specific- yeah, I'm gonna get Ronnie's ending. Because that is the only ending that I haven't gotten. Even though I have all the achievements, but I never actually got the ending. <laughs> Wait, but how do you get there without dying? Because obviously I know that that is the rooftop where you go through the thing, but it's just... It looks like death to me. So you could give this potion to Dung Eater then? Yeah, but I mean, if he will also appear in the ending, then I want to do that as well. Wait. What do you mean? You can only choose one ending? Yeah, but... Wait, what do you mean? I thought there were only like three main endings and then there will be like variations within those endings. Uh. Variations in a way that few of them give the same trophy. Hmm. But that's interesting though, because... no. There's only one slot you can choose. <laughs> So that's that's only funny if you understand Scandinavian, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I actually never went on this rooftop before. But you said that there's a merchant here? Or is it if I go through the roof? You should find them there inside. Okay, okay, okay. 
I didn't want to jump down before I knew. Yeah, I've never done that. Oh! Wait. That looks like an enemy. Wait. None of them are hostile. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so that's the one we can talk to. It's just, he just looked like the same, like the Albinoric uh, guys. Well, I mean, he probably is an Albinoric, but... So these are all puppets, then. Sorry, Your Worship. I apologize for any offense given. I am Pidia, servant to the Carrion Royal Family. That name is too similar to mine. I am charged <laughs> with maintaining these ghastly dolls. Hmm. Other than the puppets, there are some very fine things up here in this storeroom. Why not pick something out before you go? Um... But please, can you offer poor ill start pity a little something by way of compensation? Hey, Mr. Bond, how you doing? How's it going? How's it going along here? Uh, coming along here? It's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. I hope you're doing well as well. <laughs> that was a lot of wells. Well, well, well. Um. Budding horn. Material used for crafting items. Uh. Celestial dew. Black leather shield. Ripple blade. It's an axe? This is an axe. That, is, that does not look like an axe. A simple map, badly weathered. I kind of want to see what it is. Have you been here, Chris? Because I have never done this before. <clears throat> Oh, it scales with arcane. I kind of want to buy it just, just to have it. Hmm. But all's well there. Good to hear all's well with you too. Hmm. Yeah. Can't complain. Can't complain. You have any anything fun happening this weekend? Poopits, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Unique weapon wielded by young Albinorix. The sword is modeled after the ripples that are thought to be the origin of their species. Its attack power is greatly enhanced with one's arcane attribute. Wild strike. Swing armament with wild abandon. Hold to continue swimming. Sw swimming, by the way. <laughs> Swinging can be followed up with a normal or strong. I kind of want to try it out and just see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I mean, I have, I'm just two away. I'm uh, just going to go and look at cars with your dad. Like, just look at cars, or are you looking to buy a new car? Oh, it's so much smaller than I thought. I thought it was like, I mean, I know it said it was an axe, but... Oh, that reminds me kind of the moveset set of the, um, the 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 Adon dude, or whatever his name is. That's funny. You have like t 
two different weapon, uh, like, um, weapon arts. I like it. You have this one. And then you have this one. And then you have the strong attack, which is this one. It's very versatile. versatile. I like it. I'm gonna hold on to the the potion then for a bit and see what I'm gonna do. So we should probably go and find Blythe then. Blythe. Not sure if you'll find one, but yeah, I gotta go uh, out in person and test them. Mm. That sounds good. That sounds like a good idea. So, when can I go and talk to Nefeli again? She will have something new to say. I kind of forget what the order of everything is. Didn't check the map? Wait, what do you mean, didn't check the map? Oh, oh, the map that I got. That's true, that's true. I didn't. Um. Is it a key item? I mean, it wouldn't be. Would it? Well, maybe it is. Hmm. Uh, a simple Mac, Ma Mac, by the way, ba uh, Mac badly weathered examine using Exium. Uh, left discarded and forgotten for some time, depict streaks of amber light. Uh... Well, that's not very helpful. Like, how can I... That's the item needed for the second celibus potion? Oh! Interesting. Huh. Yeah, no wonder that I never got that then and I didn't understand what you were talking about because I've never done that. Um, uh, she should have something new to say after you give her the hawk from the starting area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you picked the imbued key from the town. It's where the t Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know where the, the, I know where the, the hawk talisman thing is. I just, um... I just forgot about it, that I hadn't done that yet. Will that map perhaps line up with another map, as in a more specific area? Hmm. I don't know. But what do I do with the map, though, uh, Orion? Just full celibus to give you items and then just leave to die. Yeah, but what what is the point of the map? I'm I'm not gonna betray Ronnie, I would never. But I, I want to do as much of the quest as I can because I haven't been able to do that. And I learned so much new stuff today that I didn't even know was a thing. Look at him! He's standing here, the best, the best boy, the goodest, the goodest of the goodest. It's just like any other map, it gives like a tip to find item. Oh, okay.
So, can I talk to him in peace now? He's my friend. Oh. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways. To no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. Fuck. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. But they disappeared and they suddenly appeared again. And not in the teleportation type of way. Um. You give the amber starlight, the starlight to Celebus and he makes. Jesus Christ. Um, and he makes the potion and gives it to you and some other reward and then you don't have to give that to Ronnie and it doesn't count as a betrayal. Mm. It is so big and handsome. <laughs> If you ask Selvis, uh, he gives you the Selvis introduction to give to Selen. I don't, I don't even know what you mean by introduction. Like, are you just talking about? Like a scroll? I'm so tired of your shit. Interrupting my chat with my best bud. Actually, that's kind of shared with uh, Alexander. It's called Celibus Introduction. It's like a recommendation letter, you think? But don't you get that anyway? I feel like I've gotten that before because he he tells you to give it to Selen, right? Or is it she that gives you something to give to Celibus? I forgot. Because I think that I've done that before. I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Look at us, we're matching. We're matching. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Yeah. Well, except the 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 bottom part, that is different. Also the bugs that did that when talked to Alex Yeah, that was annoying. Leave this place to me. If either of us learns anything and if we reach a dead end, some of us rarely gives Ryan and you are the two wolves. <laughs> One is trying to get smashed to death by blood, then the other is trying to get you through the game. Mm. <laughs> he gives it to you if you go ask now about the stuff. Mm. Okay, yeah, so I hadn't missed that part at least. You do like wolves, but you would not like to be crushed, smashed by one in that any sense of the meaning. <laughs> also, we're getting an ad starting now. Um, I also forgot what the next step here is. It's like, I know that we're looking for Nokron, but to get to Nokron, you need to fight Radon. So does that mean that we don't talk to each other until we go to Radon? You're gonna go now, so take care, have fun. Thank you so much for stopping by, Mr. Bond. I hope you have a good good weekend. Um, sleepy. Understandable. I hope you sleep well. Maybe some cuddles will be nice, actually. Mm. The next step is to talk to Salavis. Mm. 
No, 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 don't be, don't be sorry. I actually, like, when it comes to, 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 to this, I, I don't mind. I do not. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was just so unusual to see him there. Um. There shouldn't, I wish they had, like, a grace in the middle of this place. So you could just... Um, I think if you talk with Celibus now, he has new dialogue and after exploring this place. Mm. Wait, why did you delete the- what message did you delete? <laughs> Oh, oh, it was sorry. You deleted sorry. I see, I see, I see. I understand. But yeah, no need to be sorry. There's always need for sorries when backseating like a big- No, 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 I asked. I literally asked, though. Also, I'm just- ah! Ah! <laughs> Stop saying sorry. I know I'm not supposed to, like that that's not what I came here for to talk to her, but I, I just I, I also just wanna see in case. Yeah. Nothing. She's sleeping now. She she's having a little nap. Maybe Diamond was feeling Canadian. <laughs> You said sorry because that was what was deleted? Oh, I, I thought you said it as a joke. <laughs> I, th <sighs> I thought you also so also chimed in with the, the sorries. Um, just saw the Canadian Finnish bear video recently and it's so funny. I'm I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to Celavis. Canadian versus Finnish dealing with a bear. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that. Also, is it possible to find Celavis a seller before he's dead? I only found it after he was dead. Hmm. Should be able to. Hmm. I have no time for idle. The only thing I will hear from you is Are we understood? I have enough. Ask about Nokron. Well, well. Mm. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent. Well, now's as good as there's a glintstone sorcerer by the name. She owes me for the help I gave her when she I asked her to look into the I'll write you a letter of introduction. Mm. Go ask her. Yeah, I have done this part before. I've no time. The only thing I are we and I have yeah, 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 yeah. Uh you should be able to. Mm. You need to find him before he dies if you want to do the quest. Yeah, so that is also a problem because I like that I I only found it after he was dead. Uh it should be around here somewhere, right? Hmm. Have you tried screaming at bears? Have you tried fighting a bear? <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, no, I guess it's...
If the barriers uh, in this context mean something else than than the animal bear, gay bears count as well. Well, you don't think you have met any gay bears, actually, at least that you know of? Hmm. I'm sure you have. You once worked under a restaurant that hosted events sometimes and one time you were surprised to see tons of big beefy men and then as you went through the crowd the bear pride flag showed at the entrance and you're like oh that tracks <laughs> wait there's an actual bear bride uh, bride by the way bear pride flag is it just a pride flag with a bear on it or is it extra colors that are like symbol of a bear i don't know i don't know what i'm even saying bear pride <laughs> hey tootie <laughs> how you doing tootie i hope you're doing well I, I don't even know where. I, this is always so confusing to me, finding this place. Weren't we struggling in the... Well, I mean, I was struggling at least to find it in the... Um, in our co-op run as well. It has like the paw... Oh, I see, I see. Pride flag with brown, yellow hues and a bear paw. Hmm. I see, I see. I'm gonna be completely honest. There's so many different flags and I have no idea what any of them mean. Because I can't remember. So I might have seen it without knowing what it was. <laughs> On the way to Ronnie's Rise, it's on the right, near where you fight the dragon. Hmm. Uh, but this is Ronnie's Rise, isn't it? So it should be where I came from. Maybe down here? No, but I was here. So going in between the two of you- wait. <laughs> hey, blues! <laughs> Best friend streaming, uh, streaming Elden Ring, though his Discord made the decision for him. Mm. But how you doing? Yeah, I've been playing- I have been playing- uh, Elden Ring for, for a bit. A little bit. Uh, there's also enemies if you go from Ronnie's Rise. It's from the road to the left side. Mm. Okay, so it is on the left side. No, I mean, it's on the right side from when you... Okay, I was thinking the opposite, that it was... That makes sense, then. Uh, 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 Not the bombs command. <laughs> uh. So going in between the two of you, that's, that, that makes more sense. The contents, the contents, by the way, context of that message makes more sense now. Um... There's also enemies if you go from Ronnie's Rise. It's from the road to the left side. Mm. 
tired and hot and very, uh, very hot and allergies decide to fuck with you today, so not a good time. No, not the allergies. I'm sorry. That is not a good time. I don't know why I always struggle to find this place. No, don't run away. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's always so difficult for me to find this. I don't know why. Uh, do you know which which part of the map it is? <laughs> uh, like, is it is it here? Is it up here? I don't know. Oh, you were salvage? Yeah, I am. I am. It's been um, it's been a while since I did this, and I can never seem to remember exactly where it is on the map. Pama de Terre asked me, "The International Bear Brotherhood flag is colored after the different species of bears on Earth." I see fascinating how humans create symbols and flags for just about everything, isn't it? Bears are powerful creatures, but even they pale in comparison to the strength of a Viltramite. Still, it's interesting how you found a way to appreciate and symbolize even the mightiest creatures on this planet. I suppose that that is a good point. <laughs> Go to where you find the sorcerer who teleports. Uh, the one that I killed? You asked on the- I used the ask TTS and not the TTS. Oh. Yeah, but the ask TTS is kind of funny though. Oh, wait. But there was- there was another one that I killed. I killed another one as well. I'm just rolling around so I can reveal the entrance to it. <laughs> well, it's not here, but... Wait, here? Because I feel like I rolled around quite a lot up here earlier without anything happening. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw I saw the the shape of it now. Thank you. <laughs> Pomodotera asked me, dear Sir David Attenborough, which bears are in fact the gayest. While bears themselves don't engage in human concepts of sexuality, some species do exhibit same-sex behaviours. The playful nature of polar bears, for instance, can sometimes lead to interactions that could be perceived as affectionate or courtship. Like among peers, Kodiak bears and grizzly bears also show similar behaviours in various contexts. Nature, in all its complexity, often blurs the lines we humans draw around relationships. I wish the text wasn't so delayed uh, in comparison, but I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Thank you for that, Palm. Uh, 
We did it. Thank you. You were like seconds close to sending you a screenshot of the location. I don't. It's just so hard for me to find it every single time. You just found it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, Selvis is a gross dude. Selvis, Papa, do not touch. Well, that includes you. Checks out, he hit it well. Mm. I also hate this bed just being here casually. Uh, okay, so let us go talk to Selen then. It's literally in the middle here, right in the middle between these two towers here. Wait, so it's not it's not this part. It's it's here, right? Yeah. Mm. There you are. My shall we commence the left? No lessons. Show letter of introduction. Oh, well. Celebus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. Understandable. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement, and so too would Rani's destiny. Mm. Okay, so do we have to go back to Celibus then, or do we have to talk to Rani? Just imagine an asshole with wings. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I do be like that sometimes. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to him first. See if he has something to say. Also, if he has something to say about the basement, because I have never talked to him about it. If it even is possible. I have no time. The only thing I will are we and I have enough on. Okay, I guess I have to just go to round table hold. And then he will have stuff to talk to me about. I guess. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll just give it to Gideon then. He will talk about it afterwards. You do the stuff first. Yeah, the the potion. Well, I see you found another great. Wonderful. Make the journey to the capital. When the two fingers will do, you may be our best hope for we art. Show him Salvis's potion. Is that potion what I think it is? Bloody Salvis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? 
Hmm. Yeah, I, I also can't stand him. Um, sure, let's hand it over. Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salinas, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. I just, it's like, this is the only thing I've ever done. So I'm kind of like... You know? Always good to see. So. Mm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Scary. Hmm. Well, it's not the first time I've been called intimidating, which I find really strange. <laughs> time to do another run after this? Mm. Where do I get the, the, the other glintstone key, though? The last one. Because I would like to. Oh yeah, the imbued stone sword. Yeah, that's 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 what I meant. Never mind. <laughs> I'm glad you knew what I meant, though. Even though it was a completely different word um, <laughs> or name. I think you picked it. So I could go up here and and get it then. Oh yeah, that's right. You did say that it was in Celia. Hmm. I mean, I suppose I should have it, but... <gasps> I do! Okay. Let us get the 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 hawk for <laughs> Nefeli. Yeah, I beat the scion on on uh, when when I first started the game. Which was surprising to me. I didn't think that I would, but turns out playing on New Game Plus makes certain things quite easy in the beginning. <laughs> Imagine if it spawned a second one. Oh, I'm not gonna go there in, in case it breaks. I don't know. Would that even happen? should really try playing new game plus runs but do you kind of like new game runs hmm i mean i've never really tried doing new game plus before i also tend to just start a new fresh run but it would also be cool to do new game plus cycles hmm Isn't it here? Yes. Yes, it is. Stormhawk King! There it is.
Yee. Also, I remember when I did uh, Vare's quest and he gave me like a cloth that I was supposed to soak with, I don't know, maiden blood or whatever he called it. And I used, I used this, this person right here. It was trickier than I thought to find. Uh, I needed help to figure it out. Okay, let's go back to round table. You can also use Irina. Huh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Now I have what you need. No. How could I say that? Father has all now. You're the Stormwall King. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Roderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. You're very welcome. Ash, it reminds me of... You're very welcome. Not sure if it works uh, after she's killed or if you have to kill her yourself. Um, but would that matter though? Because you don't kill the person. How can you use it before she's dead? Because you use it on someone who is already dead. Okay, so let's go back to Celibus then. If you had to kill her to be able to use it from her. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see what you mean now. So you haven't tried it yourself then. Why would people want to kill her though? <laughs> I mean, she will die on her own anyway. So like, what is the point? I'm not sure if you can do it uh, after Hayata has her body. Hmm. Some people want to do stuff. I mean, that's that's true. Hmm. What are you? What are you? What are you hinting at here? You saying I just ra kill random people? Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor. Selim. Shut up. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere time. Shut if up. You put your mind to it. Perhaps you won't imbibe. Shut up. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience. Shut up. About your chambers. Mm, about Nefeli. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. Hmm. Because you killed Gostock. Yeah, but he deserved it. Yo, because you killed the other brother after he killed Fia. But the other brother, he's he's not as bad though. If you should kill anyone, it would be D. <laughs> but yeah, I I killed Gostock because he deserved it. We still on death? No, no, no. We're not. We have died. Um. Uh, we have died. <laughs> we have died twice today, actually. You killed Fia and you were upset about that on your first run. Mm. 
about your chambers. You break into a man's private chambers, rooting about as you please. I didn't break in. Your officiousness knows no bounds. I rolled in. And well, you tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own. Hmm? Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now, choose. Finger Maiden Theralina Puppet. Summon Spear Finger... One of Selavis's puppets. Use to summon the spirit of the Finger Maiden Ther Theralina. Spirit of Finger Maiden who never met the tarnished she was meant to guide. Uses healing incantations and holy water pots, but she is not a fighter by nature and is ill-suited to battle. A maiden without a tarnished, a tarnished without a maiden, and yet no guide to bring them together. Char White Puppet. Have I not seen these before? One of Celibus's puppets used to summon a spirit of jar uh, white spirit of man a spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar, a jar hurling specialist who throws all manner of pots and jars. The warrior jar once told the nameless man this: "You are not yet ready to join the warriors inside. No, you must apply yourself, better yourself, and one day I will return for you." I mean, I won't use any of them anyway, but. Which one is actually more, more useful, if I'm going to pick anyway? <laughs> oh, you think you have to buy them both? Oh, I see, I see. Your Tenji, you didn't pop the wheel spin bar? Wait, what do you mean? Didn't pop the wheel spin bar? I'm not sure what you mean. He was gloating about it, and it reminded you a bit of Alfred from Bloodborne. Hmm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Get a puppet, baby? Yeah. Mm. They cost the star shards? Hmm. They restore FP. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've never used those anyway. Wait, did I miss something? Did you do a Tangia thing again and I missed it, Palm? Did not yeah, I I I told you that before that it doesn't add um bits for from like um uh, what's it called? Extensions. It doesn't add bits from extensions, unfortunately. Um, I think I told you that after you used uh, Blurp as well. So it, it doesn't do that, unfortunately. Um... I feel like I missed so many messages, and I'm sorry if I have. Just just let me know if if there's anything you want me to read again. Um. Yeah, it really sucks. I feel like you. I think you have to do stuff with um. Mix it up to to get it. Begging for another lesson, so the remains much. So I could only get one then. But yeah, it really sucks that that happens. Orion Wolfia cheers. X one hundred and fifty six. Thank you for the one hundred and fifty six bits, Orion. Thank you. Um, what do you think of the mobile change to Twitch? You mean the app? I haven't seen any changes. I have heard that some people have talked about the changes, but I think it's only iPhone. But I, I don't have an iPhone, so I haven't seen anything new. 
Or maybe I just haven't updated it because I, I think I have to m manually do it, so I haven't seen anything. Uh, where should we go? What's the next thing we should do? Quest-wise, I mean. It really, just uh, any quest, really. Also, why do I... Wait. Never mind. You have to buy them both for his quest, you're pretty sure? Did you ask him about the seller? Did you... Yeah, I did. That That's when they popped up. Um, that's when I got the option to, to get it, but I could only get one. It's Android and you have it? Hmm. I see. Oh, well, maybe I just need to, to manually up, um, update it then. Okay, so we can talk to Blythe then, again. But not a fan. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll. I guess I'll see. <laughs> I don't really use uh, Twitch on mobile too often, though. So I hope the change isn't too bad or too noticeable. Did you have enough the item you needed to buy the item? I don't even know what I needed to buy the item with. I I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> it's a, yeah, but I, I I don't know if I saw. What? Do you see that? Oh hell no! You're gonna you're gonna pay for that, you asshole. I I actually don't even know who it is. See, he has a an arrow, and his back. That is so mean. Ah, well, what news? Tell Sullen's story. What happened? An enemy shot an arrow at Blythe. Use Twitch mobile too solemn to notice a difference. Hmm. What was the change? Hmm. He used to be an adventurer. <laughs> did it just eat you out of the dialogue after you bought something? Yeah, it did. No, but I tried talking to him again, but it didn't show up anything. I I could only buy stuff from his shop, but it shows just spells and stuff, not the summons. Tell Sullen's story. Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by star. I tried to write. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's worth investigating. I'll be on my way to this festival of Radan then. I agree. You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Redmain Castle in Kaelid. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword and fang. <laughs> You're coming too. I'll meet you at Red Main. Okay. Way ahead is. Let us see then. I can show you again if you want to see. But it didn't. It didn't work. But yeah, I I didn't get the option to talk to him anymore. Uh, what well, or like the um, it just yeah yeeted me out of the the shop thing. Maybe just no 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 because I came back to talk to him after that too, didn't I? Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. 
could be that that helps. But I don't know if I ever got the option to do that um, before. So I can't say if it has worked for me before or not. Because I don't think I've ever done it. Begging for another letter. <sighs> yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So it was not in a reset either. Hmm. Twitch seems to be taking cues from like TikTok and having you watch other Twitch streamers you've never seen before. You would think it's alright if they didn't spam once you play who play games that you care nothing for. But for some reason, push streamers you do watch and support underneath these random ones most of the time. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of them uh, end up going for the, the TikTok recipe. So some people say buying stuff from him fixed it or sleeping three days or restarting the game. He had problems not buying the puppets. Okay, so it's a bug then? Or is it meant to be like that but i mean I, i'm not gonna i'm not really gonna bother with that now we'll see so i'm guessing the next thing we should do is uh is this I'm not gonna do that today though. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Oh, but we can we can talk. Ah, there you are. Took your sweet time. Hey, I, I was fast. I'm waiting for the cut. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. Damn, how fast does he expect me to be? Into the fray together. Let's see what you're made of. Into the freight. Uh, faster than Seribot? Yeah. <laughs> um. Could be, because pretty sure you just bought both of them at the same time. Hmm. Champions! We have matching helmets. Demigod of the Shattering awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. Hmm. A celebration of war. It's not a bug last time you just bought all his stuff. But if you have to buy all of his stuff, then it is a bug. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think that if I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh... The app kicked you out of the stream? What the fuck? In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Hmm. Be sure to get a good vantage. I... My two best friends are here. It's Alexander and Blythe. The best, the best boys. I'm so looking forward to getting my, my plushie of life. <laughs> no, I mean of, of Alexander. Um, he also did this kind of early in the new run and it was such a pain. Hmm. You minimize it and it stopped and closed. That's annoying. I think you will also do have to buy all his sorceries for the quest as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
This happened in previous Souls games too. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start the festival right now. Not just the puppets, sorry you you're giving me No, it's uh, it's okay. It's okay, but I think this is where we're gonna end today though. Um I am also getting really tired. <laughs> yeah, it says two hundred and twenty seven hours, but this is also included in my my uh, including my first playthrough because it's new game plus, so it doesn't start at zero when you start a new new run. Also, I am so glad that they changed the, the logo. So we don't get flashbanged. <laughs> um, did you take number what it was at the start of New Game Plus? No, but it's easy to see if you go back in the VOD or something. Um, it pauses the stream now when you minimize the stream. Uh, that's annoying. Wait, but what's the point of minimizing then if it pauses the stream? There's absolutely no point in minimizing it then. Then you, you can just have it full screen and be tabbed out. That's stupid. Hold on, let me... Let me do that. Um... That's true. Mm. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. So I feel like we have we have done a lot of progress quest-wise, but not so much uh, in exploration and uh, <laughs> and uh, and boss fights today. But I feel like it was necessary stuff. It's still progress. That's true. That is very true. Yeah. Next time we're gonna fight Radon, I think. And then we can also probably maybe go to Nokron. We'll see. We'll see. Sorry about no, no. no I I really don't care if people <laughs> like about people's grammar now. Um, unless I like if if I can understand what they they mean. That's the important part. If I understand what people are saying, that that is that is the important thing. Um, and if I don't understand, I'm gonna ask you to, to, to explain, so I do understand. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. <laughs> exactly, Orion, exactly. Thank you for the 50 bits. Should have used this room when Selvis was there, damn, <laughs> missed opportunity. <laughs> true, true. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, um... Seeing as we are doing the weapon wheel spin stuff, um... Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you again for, for another 50 bits. You're too kind. Um, yeah, so we, we, we're gonna leave it uh, for tomorrow as well. So, like, this... The goals here are not reset. They will be carried over to tomorrow's stream as well. Um, because we're going to be playing more Elden Ring tomorrow. Mm -mm. That we will. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I, seeing as I am going to go back to work again next week, um, my schedule will, will remain the same as it is now, even though I have started a little bit later now. Um, so yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna stay the same. But, let's see. Let's see if we can find someone who is on right now. Uh, dude, I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired these days. <laughs> I'm so tired. 
Okay, I'm trying to hold back a yawn every single time I'm talking. <sighs> every single time I'm talking. <laughs> uh. But yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be more Elden Ring. And then on Tuesdays we have In Stars and Time. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing Elden Ring on Wednesdays or if I'm going to introduce something new. But I don't think I am. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe we will play more In Stars and Time on, on Wednesdays. So then it's like 50-50. So we have In Stars and Time and Elden Ring equal, equal amount of time each week. We'll see. We'll see. I am really enjoying In Stars and Time. And it does seem like it's a very long game too, so having an extra stream day uh, for it would might not be the worst idea. Um, but thank you, Ryan, for being here. Uh, let's see. And everyone else as well, thank you for being here, guys. Is there anyone? Huh. So, what do you guys want to see? What, do you want to see more Elden Ring? Not DLC, by the way. Not DLC. But base game. Do you want to see more base game Elden Ring? Or uh, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap? Or... Well, those are the two the two options. <laughs> um, which is the more casual game, Elden Ring or End Stars in Time? Uh, it's hard to say because they can be tiring in two different ways because. I have to read a bunch when I play in Stars in Time, which can be very tiring on my voice. But it's more like I get more tense when I play Elden Ring. Um, so it's like, it depends. <laughs> it depends. The stream paused and the zoom in really close to my face. <laughs> I was <a> <laughs> uh, That's funny. That is funny. You know what? I think I think I know who we're gonna raid because it's someone that I never. I think I've raided maybe once. So let us, we can raid Latalis. Latalis is. I think she is. Is she doing like a speedrun of Minish Cap? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it though. But yeah, let us let us let us let us let us do that. Let us do that. It's um someone that I know through through Sarah. Um uh, In case you guys don't know who it is. Um But yeah, let us do that. Let us raid. Oh, she's only been live for six minutes, so that's good. Perfect time. Perfect time. But yeah, thank you so much for being here, guys. I appreciate you all. Um, We're gonna be back again tomorrow. And also, thank you, Toonie. I'm almost out of water, so that's perfect timing as well. Um, but yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow. I am posting all my bots on on YouTube once. Um, well, it it might take like a day or two before they're up, but they they will all be they will all be there. So the other streams are there as well. The other bots. Um, but yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow, same time as today. So it will be at. 9 p.m. CEST. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, I hope you guys don't want to join in for the raid. If you are subbed, you can copy the first raid message. If you're not subbed, you can copy the second one. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys wanted to join in because, you know, it's 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 a nice thing to do. You know, it's a nice thing to do. But yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your uh, Friday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.